<laughs> the camera is there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the intro. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What, 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 what do you want? What do you want? Now, what do you want? We start like this. <laughs> no, <laughs> bro, what, nothing. No. It's good. Hello. <laughs> Am I, am I, yeah, should I start the podcast for you guys? Hello, we're here with a mortal fate myself. Hey. As well. <laughs> Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Disruption Podcast. Mm. We're your hosts. I'm Nor the Baghdadi. It's Chief Alasaji in the building, baby. It's your girl, Moezy. It's the Prince, what's up? And Come we joined. By, oh. Who's saying what? I said, come on. I just come said, on. come on. Energy, energy, <laughs> yeah. energy. Yeah. Yeah. And we're joined by Ron from Immortal Fae. What's up, man? What's up, guys? Oh, oh, on, what's good? What's good, what's good? What's good? M- Mr. Mr. Worldwide Podcast Tours. Yeah. <laughs> Two in a week. Two in a week. to start charging for these after Oh, man. How you feeling there, man? I'm good, bro. Mm. I'm good. Got the like, shades on, too? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do these just stay on your face or what? Like I'll take them. Off. I'll, I'll take. You want me to take them out? Nice, uh, you know what? Nice though. Just, them, you know. Those are brown. This guy killed the brown ones. Yeah, you know yeah what man. I mean? The brand's looking tasty. And I was like, you know, there's shades everywhere. I go for yeah, it. Oh, shades. I'm not no. gonna lie. The shades or the balaclavas during an interview is annoying. It's like, annoying. Because really? I was watching Drink Champs this week. You know Drink Champs? No. So it's Nori and um, DJ EFN. They've got this podcast where they basically drink with the guest. Oh and yeah. The game was on it. Yeah. And the game's like. For me, nostalgically, is like my favorite rapper ever. And the guy had a baklava and Sonny's on the, like for the uh, first- Bally, yeah, Bally okay, and Bally's a stretch. <laughs> 45 minutes. And I was like, bro, please like- What, you trying to look what if I was just to pull no, up? I'm like, I'm disconnected. Uh, like, I'm disconnected. Uh, Bally and I'll shades is Jack. Yeah. All I can see are the eyes now. Bro, and yeah. you're telling me you put shades on top of that to even- And now that? you can't see the mouth. It's just like a guy just talking. Wait, what Bally was it though? Was it like just a- I think it was his own. No, but like, was it was like there a mouth hole? Nah, yeah. Mouth and no, eyes? Uh, no, only eye holes. Just yeah, 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 see? Yeah, yeah. yeah you do too, you're doing too much. Yeah, that's nah. a bit. Bad. A bit too that's much. Bit yeah, yeah. Oh my uh, god! Like if I was to come in and was like, "Hey guys," <laughs> now I'll say, "Yeah, this guy's chasing different money." Bro. The only person who did it well was Kodak Black. Like, I've never seen funny. that. You haven't seen the interview? No, bro. I hope so. Comedy. I hope so. Bro, the whole interview, I'm just like, bro, I'm gonna start seeing like spit develop. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like, and that's just disgusting. You know what I'm saying? But now, what's going on though, bro? Oh I'm good, man. How you feeling? Yeah? I'm good, yeah. Where, I'm, you, where I'm you at mentally, bro? What's the life looking like for you right now? Life's looking good. Yeah. Been busy. Past, um, yeah. Like, I've, I mean, since the expo, I've just been back to back to back. So, like, I haven't been able to like catch a break and be like, oh, yeah, like, today's a chill day. Because yeah. I got a collection coming up soon and then I've, and then I got the runway coming up. So, yeah. there's still a lot, like, so, to do. But, I mean, I'm happy with it. That's kind of what I asked for. So everything's kind of going like how I wanted it. 100%, yeah, yeah. champagne problems. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bruh. That's what it is. Facts. Bruh, this whole thing with like back to back is crazy though, man. Like, yeah. it's one of those ones where you're m- moving a million miles an hour, you kind of have to, and you're always constantly like, all right, finally, okay, yeah, maybe this weekend I'm gonna catch do this, and catch on this, but yeah. then something comes up again, but it's kind of like, you kind of have to do it again yeah. still. Yeah. It's it's a, it's annoying. I was just feeling that with this. Oh yeah. This as well as like life Everything in else, yeah. yeah. Everything yeah. else around it and associated with this. I'm like, bro, mm. this is a constant thing. Like my parents, it, the conversation is constantly like, it'll be, I'm at work, and I'll be like, oh, how's work? I'll right, have that yeah. convo, and I'll be like, oh yo, I gotta head out somewhere. I'm like, damn, bro. <laughs> Oh, I can't. Yeah, it can't be like this all the time, man. Like, just yeah, constantly no, going. Yeah, yeah. But so you're enjoying that. At the same I'm enjoying. Time? Like, I feel like the thing is, is like mm. in high school, you're so confined to like going to school every day. And this that. I mean, you still have to go to uni, but like, it just feels good because like, I have so much free time now, yeah. and like, I can actually like, okay, if I have a collection, I can smash that out, get on with this, and like, I don't have anything to do other than like probably watch a couple lectures and catch up on my notes. You know. So what is this collection you're talking <laughs> about? So it's called a walk. I've been like I've been like pushing that out a lot. It's a world of chaos, which is like one of my most anticipated collections because it's like an actual winter collection for yeah, me. Okay, yeah, yeah. So like I've been bringing out a lot of different pieces, a lot of different tones, a lot of different colors, um, 
a lot. I'm I'm also gonna like incorporate some more like the whole Russia Ukraine thing going on. That's literally what I was about to ask. Oh, yeah. so like, ah, you're doing a world of chaos, like clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the world's been in chaos. In yeah, chaos. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's been in chaos yeah. since world's COVID. Ca- not even COVID, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Since an apple got bit, things are going on. <laughs> right, you get me, right? But like, yeah, okay. So is that uh, inspiration in terms of that, or do you? Is this a spicy time to be dropping a, a collection with that name or yeah, what, what's the interpretation? I mean, look, uh, like it's not like I'm gonna like drop Ukraine and Russia's name on a piece. It's like, I'm gonna like use the colors where, colorways and I'm gonna incorporate it on something that I feel like, okay, like this can actually be a piece. So like, it kind of does say war on the back, but like- Are they gonna kill it or are you gonna get cancer? <laughs> one of the two, one of the two. But like us, like at the end of the day, like uh, there's, there's so much stuff still like in the works. So I, I make about, you could say like 50 pieces and then I'd shortlist everything. And then I'd put it up on like a blank screen. I'm like, okay, that looks good. Put that with this. I like, until like, I actually feel like, okay, this collection's ready. So that's the same thing with, like that T-shirt, like everything that I put on for, um, for that, for the audacity, for the audacity to dream. Um, was oh, that what that? Collection yeah, that's the collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. the whole collection's like a story of like everything that I kind of went through. <clears throat> so like every piece resembles like if I felt lost or if something wasn't going right or like that's the, the that's called a dummy T. So I felt kind of like a target when I was work, like when I was starting up the brand. So every piece like has some sort of meaning behind it. That's why I called it the audacity that's to dream. Cool. But yeah, um, this one's more so like a world of chaos has always been at the back of my head. Like I've always wanted to drop something regarding that. That, that, that kind of concept. Yeah, that kind of concept. So this is your first time doing something like that, trying to incorporate something in the outside world into mm-hmm. your brand. Mm-hmm. First time. How do you think that's gonna go? I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna say, I don't know if anyone's wearing that red, white, and blue joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 the, the Vladimir range. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna do it, but hey, man. Look back, made like 100 pieces, <laughs> not one sold. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> no, nah, it's more so, uh, it's more Bro, so wait, Ukraine. Wait, wait, the drip becomes uniform for them. <laughs> <dudes. laughs> <laughs> 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 mm, we got a brand. <laughs> <laughs> one brand didn't pull out. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they've, been, they've yeah. been getting left, right, and center. Bro, right. CNN pulled out, Mastercard pulled and out, Visa, Coca Cola. Mm. Bro, even apparently Pornhub pulled out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone was like, <laughs> Russia is gonna have the most well informed, healthy nation in the world. <laughs> <laughs> For the next war, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, days. honestly, like, um, they've they've copped it bad. Yeah. You've been I, keeping up with all, like all this kind of stuff. Kinda though? like my dad kind of watches it, so like yeah. I just like go out. I'm like, oh, what's happening? Yeah, like I think um. I mean, it's not a thing to like even like laugh about, but like I think a children's hospital got bombed. Damn! Oh, wait, what? What site? Like, as in on in Ukraine? Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah wow. Bro, Ukraine's hardly got an into Russia. Bro, there's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm there's sorry. a lot going on. I mean, then you got this new virus, this mosquito thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Well, no, I was kind of hoping that no one would say that. Wait, fam. So, wait, that, and that's that's kind of like yeah, neither, neither. That's kind of like more of a like that's Australia pretty much that's going on right now. It's like a Japanese. Japanese virus, from Jap- yeah, 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 but like they're talking about it's yeah, happening. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, two yeah, people, I think, already have. You yeah, know, but it's died not. A, it's not like I can. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know. Like Come it's on. not. I think it's not too serious. I don't think it'll it'll be too serious. In honestly, no way. But I saw I read something that's like, um, like it's not crazy right now, but there's thirty percent chance if you actually cop it. Nice. Of living. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I said, coach, coach, slow us yeah. down right it's, now, it's the bro. Same, it's kind of it's kind of like the similar concept to. I think I'm not too sure. Uh, Come I on, think it's like man, uh, part time scientist. Sim- similar concept to like COVID, like older people. I still uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. popping it more. Like if you're in like your sixties or your seventies, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Far, we actually man. can't catch a break. On, we cannot no, catch we a can, break can. right now. What's going on? No, I mean, look at the mm. like. If you look at it this way as well, <laughs> I mean, like a couple people have gotten it, but like they're already working on. Yeah. The mosquito yeah. joint. Yeah, they're already working on the yeah the mosquito <laughs> joint. Yeah, I don't, yeah, know, I don't remember the name. from Japan, yeah. 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 What, what are you gonna say now? What are you about to say? Two things. First, do we have to mark this time? Just. I thought there would never be mosquitoes in Japan. I no cap, was, I was thinking something like, like that. Like, it's just like, yeah, I feel it's, like it's the way, yeah, no, you don't expect the Pigeons, yeah. But um, <laughs> the other thing is, it'd be kind of lit 
Oh lord! <laughs> if you have like, can someone Jap- take this time? Yeah, yeah. If you have like a Japanese, like if you turn into anime character, what? What, the- <laughs> Wait, what? How? How is that even? What's wrong with like, it? What do you mean? You Where's your mind at right now? Audacity to dream right now, bro. What's going on, man? He's dreaming a bit too yeah, much, bro. Too much dream. You have too much fun, bro. And also too much fun. It's a birthday a couple of days ago. Serious? Nah, nah, nah. You're not turning into anime character. You're definitely not serious, bro. You're not serious. When all this is there's no about. way that there's no way you get like bit my mosquito. You're gonna be like, <laughs> come on, <laughs> hey, lock him up, lock him up. Hey, who's got a belly hey. that doesn't have the mouth? Part, who's right? my belly? I, do. I <laughs> dropped We're some recently. <laughs> so all this is going on. How do you cope with all these kind of things? Man? I mean, this is even open to all of us. Man. I mean, because we've yeah, like Noah said, we haven't caught a break on anything. Yeah, no. Nah. How do we slow down in life even right now? I don't know. How do you? <laughs> I can't no, give an answer to that either. What is the go? How do we? navigate how do we move bro do you we don't just navigate bro why are you asking thing? me this question yeah, all of us, all of us. <laughs> no, we're saying like, for us personally life is like can't stop mm, every yeah. week but earth right now is standing after shit <laughs> Jimmy's Butler after playing 46 <laughs> minutes with his <laughs> the earth right now. It's Far madness, out, it actually is. I actually didn't know that madness, was going on. But I feel like at the end of the day, like that shit's been going on like that for years. You could yeah, like take true. that all the way back to eighteen hundred and No, but now white people are being hurt. <laughs> 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 it matters! Bro, those oh. news anchors, man. Hey, that's you're gonna, the, that's you're, the real you're audacity. You're gonna get canceled. Yeah, really <laughs> <laughs> hey. We're talking about white people. Bro, that was the real yeah, audacity. Yeah, no, 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 facts. Did you see all that? When they were getting on the news. To t- yeah, yeah, and they're like, they're like, yeah. oh, the Middle East and Asia Bro, and dad Africa. My dad sending me that stuff. My dad got, my dad was like, Sorry, yeah. what? Yeah. Civilized wow. people, you guys are the ones that started the war in the first place, Yo, you know? Like a lot, Germany, Poland, yeah. now you got Russia, Ukraine. Bro, nah, half, all of Europe was, was at war at one it point. It was mad when um, one of the guys, because he's going like, this is not like Iraq, I'm from Iraq, but he's like, this yeah. is not like Iraq. <laughs> How do you yeah. feel as an Iraq even here? Bro, it's, it's <laughs> actually mm. crazy. Like just, <laughs> especially cause literally the earth's civilization, like modern civilization started in what is now Iraq. Yeah. yeah? But it's like they go. Um, this one guy goes like, "This is not like a place like Iraq." Yeah. No offense. What? Where people are civilized. But then he starts going down to like, these are like white. Well, no, blue, <laughs> basically blue white. Blue yeah. Yeah. Like Christian. Oh the, guy, the guy literally defined like Hitler's dream. Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no offense. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I mean, no offense taken, I guess. Yeah, uh, nah, for lot, real, man. bro. Like, I was like, uh, like I saw, I saw that on TikTok yeah, somewhere, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, there's no way. Yeah. Like and the way he's like no, off, like he was like I don't want to get cancelled or something. Times I was like, that, no what offense. on earth are you talking about? Nah, it's wild, you know, it's it's the, world the world is mad, man. The world is mad, and I'm just wondering. Yeah, yeah, like, no facts. Yeah, we're not catching a break in terms of all this stuff, but like in like our own life. But then on yeah. top of that as well, like this is painted on the canvas of just everything else yeah. that's going. Yeah, literally, it's madness, bro. Right? Literally, stop, man. Crazy. But uh, yeah, just gotta keep going, man. So how long? Sorry, no, all you, bro. I just oh, realized yeah. he's the youngest was, guest that was, was just yeah. to say that. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. were the youngest oh, guest we've ever had. I actually oh, yeah, thought you were 20. Yeah, oh, he still would have been the youngest guest. fake agent, bro. Yeah. Nah, you, you want to see my- You want to see my- I'm about to ask you after this. How are you <laughs> aging right now? Six. Six four? Six, Six four. four. <laughs> Good business going on. Carlos is like, damn, this is everything I was trying to do, bro. <laughs> At 18? Yeah. Date of birth. Bro, the peas are red. I know. Whoa, I ain't seen a date of birth for that one. number, bro. No, it was a number. I, <laughs> I mean, it's obviously 2003. Yeah, 2003. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bro, can I just like, no offense here, yeah, like, 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 like the guy on the news, but that's a disgusting year, bro. Like, what the heck is that? <laughs> I have not seen that yet. <laughs> that's mad. 2003. I feel oh, like that's, that's kind of crazy. That yeah. Because like the first World Cup, I remember. I'm not even that much older. Six years, yeah. <laughs> first World Cup, I remember, is when Brazil beat Germany in the finals 2-0. That's the year before you. Oh, was that 03? Oh, 02. <laughs> 02. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Like, that's my first memories, to be honest. Madness, bro. Yeah, wow. It's crazy. So, but shit. I don't know if we're out of touch here. I don't. I mean, we're probably not even like. Okay, we're like six, seven years older than you, pretty much, right? Mm-hmm. Sound down. Damn, that's that yeah. Wow, 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 wow. That Can sounds I weird. We I feel too a, young now. Yeah, I might need a deep down. <laughs> <That's laughs> <the last laughs> yeah. Seven yeah. in the two thousands. So we're, wow. yeah. yeah. we're about six, seven years older than you, right? Yeah. yeah. What is your perception of people our age? 
How is old it? Because you? you know how like yeah, um, actually, right now, like twenty four, twenty five. Like in your mind, like oh, I'm hanging out with older people. Like just no, like because I, like because like I used to hang around my sister's friends a lot as yeah. well, ah, yes. and they're all like twenty four, twenty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she's twenty two. And she was hanging out with people older than her. So I was like, mm. sh- I was like 16 years old and I'm still like mm. going out the with boys, these guys. Yeah. And I, 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 I low-key feel like hanging out with people older than me, I learn way more than what's Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. And for like, sure. I'd learn from an 18-year-old. Yeah. Unless you got like the same mindset. Most 18-year-olds nowadays is more so just like party, clubs, mm-hmm. drugs, TikTok, <laughs> TikTok. Yeah. drink. I mean, I like to drink. I can't lie, but. Is that I dabble? <laughs> is that I dabble? <laughs> No, like, I feel like- uh, You just started living this life, bro. All right, yeah. 18 and that's- <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, I think these guys don't know. You're Indian, yeah? Yeah. Indians drink a lot, bro. Wait, Indians Indian? drink so much that they had to have a dry state. Wait, hold on. In India. <laughs> <laughs> so a, a politician in India said, nah, hey, we actually need a slow- <laughs> I did not know that. Bro, Indians drink a I'm lot. I'm Punjabi. No. Not that they do. Oh, oh. <laughs> North, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I actually didn't know he was Indian too. Oh. So I'm very shocked right Marisha now. Marisha doesn't tell me. Oh, bro, I get, I get, I get no, no, anything. Yeah. The reason I why I thought- That's like, it's like, it's like I'm like Punjabi, yeah. a bit of like Persian as well. Oh, yeah. So like, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. got a bit of- Oh, a real? Iraqi and Persian? I thought oh, this guy was about to say Punjabi no, no, and Persian. I did my uh, thing at yeah. 23 and Meat. Yeah. showed me everywhere that I'm from. I think I got a tiny bit of Persian. Mine came out with like- Greek and shit as yeah, well, I so yeah. Damn, not surprised. Damn, not I, surprised. I, I, I mean, guess that. Those all those countries, if you like, look at it this way, like Europe, right, all the way to right, Asia, they're all, it's all kissing. Right. They're all yeah. kissing. Um, yeah. The reason I asked before, like, what's your perception of us? Because I'm like, I personally feel like mm. I am out of touch. Not out of touch, like crazy, like that. But like, I'm unaware of a lot of what's going. Like, what is going on in an 18 year old's mind right now? Because ATAR and and, and high school is so far so detached cool. from me, and I realize yeah. how un- unimportant. Like it is now. In it's my such life a drag. Thing, right? <laughs> in all honesty, like, yeah, I mean, like, I was happy with like what I got and everything, but like at the end of the day, I was like, I studied for what, bro? Yeah. Mm. Like, isn't not- it crazy? Like the second you see your score, it's like you built it up to be something, and then you see it and you're like, eh, it's, that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's like, it's not gonna change. Yeah, now. it's either yeah. like, yeah, it's like you can't do much about yeah. it. Just hope that seeds can bump you up a bit, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. I wrote like a full like essay <laughs> on like why I should get consideration. Uh, oh man. Milked it. No. I milked it? I got like I got like two pieces of reference, like one from my doctor. Oh, you were serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot bro. about that. Too. That was a whole thing. Jeez. Isn't your sister almost 18? Huh? Your sister. My sister. Which when did you yeah, guys graduate? Uh 20. You were 14 though, yeah. Yeah. We were 15. So I was graduating like because back home, like in New Zealand- um, oh, Was that where you were at? Yeah, okay, I'm, from, yeah. I'm born and raised in New Zealand. Oh yeah, yeah. So like I was in year six, I was like graduating year six when you guys were graduating year 12. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so South Auckland? Uh, South East, like, uh, like <laughs> how do I explain it? Danny Mora. Anyway. Yeah, Danny Mora, kind of. Yeah. Um, like, oh, you don't know that? Yeah. Ah, honest, Fake ass New Zealand. Ta- he's from Tucker, bro. He's, he's, yeah. he's a show boy. Yeah. He's a show boy. You're talking- a show boy. <laughs> what show boy are you? Got fingers. <laughs> nah, bro. It's short. Hey, to be honest, like, I was born in New Zealand. I love New Zealand very much. Yeah. I'm a Rocky, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Proud know. man. I moved, I moved a lot, bro. I'm yeah, yeah. Like, oh, fair enough. America, oh, bro. yeah. yeah. Ew, what a shore boy, bro. Ew, yeah, what a shore boy. So shore what? Now, nah, shut up. I still want to keep diving in. I want to pick his brain a bit more, bro. With the 18 <laughs> with the, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is- So <laughs> what are- <laughs> what are what just say you're out of touch, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I want to know if you're not on TikTok. Yeah, yeah I'm actually- nah. yeah, What's yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah, why do you feel like bro, you're out of touch? TikTok's like a drug, though. Like, I can't- I have to go at least like two, three hours a day. Like I have to watch it. <laughs> She's like, ooh. Oh, wait, wait, two, three hours a day. Hold like, on. Like That's I got like it every day. Very like easy I, to do that. Yeah, though. like I yeah, wake it, up, I wake up, easy. I'd wake up around like mm. 10, 11. I'd stay in bed till like one, watch no, this. Nice, you did not have a successful business. You are a fraud, I believe. You can ask my parents, like I I get up at like one o'clock sometimes. And like, I just like watch, like I just like watch TikTok till like two, three, and then and then do it like end up doing something, probably design. Yeah. Oh, guys, so let, me start, let me start my day at 4 p.m. Yo. Yeah. I was yeah. gonna say all that talk about waking up early, getting on the top, you know. Right. Yeah. Nah, fuck. I, 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 do that, I do that for like, for the expo I was mm. up, but I felt good. Like I was like, I'm up at 6 a.m. Mm. Wow, like this feels great. <laughs> the work. TikTok but, like, for three hours after right. that. <laughs> nah, like I, get back to, I get back to like the apartment that we were staying. I don't want to drive all the way back home yeah. from yeah. the city. Oh, and I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Did you guys? No. Nope. 
We were driving, yeah, no. bro. We yeah, fumbled. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. So I get, I get back to the hotel. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to like lax it a bit. I'm like texting my supplier at the same time, like watching TikToks. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, man. Fair enough. I love TikTok. Yeah, yeah, I love it TikTok. It's the best social media app, right? It's amazing. Jeez, it's kind of cold. Can I grab my jacket? Can I grab my jacket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it to the office as well. Oh, sweet. Flex, yeah. flex that a bit as well. So you have any more questions for the 18 year old? Or? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A so little why bit, do you like, feel like you're out of touch? Yeah, why? No, 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 what okay, I'm not like, out of touch, bro. Mm. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't think you guys are out of touch at all. Uh, like, I don't know about us. I'm not the youngest out of touch, So I look at them as old cats. I'm 24. I'm just 24. Yeah, I'm just 24. How old are you guys? They are 25 this year. That's a good I honestly thought you guys were like probably like 22, 23. Come on. When he said six, seven, I was like, Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So did you do like schoolies and all that kind of stuff there? What was your yeah, holiday vibes? Schoolies was, schoolies was good. Especially yeah. coming off the back of our uh, Rona as well. Like yeah, lockdowns yeah, yeah. and that Schoolies too. was all, we, went, we just went to Phillip Island because I lost my license in October. Wait, bro, how? Like, I was doing, I don't want to. Yeah, I mean, you, don't need to, you don't need to add a bit, but like, bro, how quick, how long did yeah. you have it for? And how quick did and you How do you already have it back? <laughs> I got it, so I got, I only got suspended for three months. Yeah. Um, I was basically that doing- That means you were doing up to 30 over. I was doing 27. Round about? This guy doing the maths. Um, and <laughs> I got, I was, I was, I was getting back to school actually. Oh. Um, and that's what made you hate it even more. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm showing my mate like, oh, this is sport mode, this, that. Oh, no. And uh, I got clipped. Dang. So they were like here. I'm like driving down, and it's like I got you at 80. I was probably doing double, but yo, oh, <laughs> double, yeah. did you any of you guys drive to school? You didn't, nah, bro. Oh, no, bro. Only you did for a little bit. School, yeah. yeah like, nah. did you ever? No, you, did you? Nah, you did your bad boy. Drive to school. I swear you drove the car a couple of times, bro. To school, yeah. yeah. Like, no, I had my peas, bro. Nah. You yeah. talking about his yeah, learners or <laughs> you didn't? You never drove to. I was 17 when I started uni, bro. Oh, oh yeah, I finished because I'm. Oh, so you or me? You were like me. Yeah, gang. That's it. Oh, so you skipped the year. Uh, yeah, no, nah, that's what we said. Just say yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's I, what I, I, I said. Second grade, anywhere in the world. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Dirty little kid. Wait, when you ask if I drove to school, are yeah. you talking about license or no license? You can say what you <laughs> mean. It depends. <laughs> How did you say it? Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, can you get done for prior? Uh, you know what I mean? I'll just ask you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I never did. All right, nah, I know. I'm done now. You can ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I, I won't dive too much into it. Now, I was going to ask, at what age did you start your brand? 15. 15. Yeah, wow. so I moved here in 2018 uh, on my 15th. So I was 14 when I moved here. On my 15th birthday, um, I was like thinking about ideas because I went to SneakerCon mm. right, yeah. and I was like, I think that was after my, I think that was after I turned 15 and I was like, oh, why would I, like I bought a Bape t-shirt and it was like a hundred bucks, 150 bucks. SneakerCon like, was nice. I don't it, know was, it was, I, I think they're doing it. I don't know, hopefully they'll do it sometime soon, but um, Westside was there as well. I remember Westside was there, but I bought a Bape t-shirt for like 150 bucks. And my dad obviously was like, what's wrong? With <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and like, I looked at it and like, obviously like you start to feel the material and everything. And I was like, why would I spend 150 bucks on another brand, like a big brand when I could just like, someone could spend that on mine. So that's kind of like where I got the concept from. And then um, moving down, like I started coming up with ideas and like I started a business back home as well. Like I came up with a concept, but I copped it. So I just left it. I just didn't even bother. And when then you say copped it, what? I got <laughs> people <laughs> talking shit. Copped by bro. who? I like people like oh, from, like you, like, oh, yeah, from yeah, people. Okay, yeah, yeah, from yeah, people. Yeah. Um, and then like I came. So after the expo, I started coming up with ideas again. Um, and it was like Legends of Our Generation, and it was kind of just like I got like a image. Like a PNG of like their face, I'd black and white it, put it on a blank, and then on the back I'd put like a quote, so like for example, Muhammad Ali, I'd like do that. I did. I like made up a concept. I was like, no, nah, I don't really like this because like I don't want to just. Oh, what if I could get caught? Oh, you know? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, I was reading Macbeth <laughs> in class. Oh, I love your story. <laughs> yeah. This story is <laughs> it's a good story. Like it, the way you're telling this whole story. Is, this is not. Nice. Nice. I was saying <laughs> sense, but no. I'm very intrigued. Yeah, 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 so yeah. many elements. And then I started right, around, yeah. and then I read Macbeth. Yeah. 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 I was like, oh, nothing's really working out. I'll kind of just like leave it. I'll put it to the side. I was reading Macbeth and some part, like some immortal came up. I don't know where it was. And um, and this is the one time I was actually reading a book because we were kind of forced to in class. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that came up and then I was like, okay, like 
that's a cool that's a cool word. I just like put, I used to put cool words in the back of my English book. So I put a model back there and then I went back home in June and like around June and then June July. And I went to Zara and I <laughs> bought a t-shirt and it said blind fate. And like I don't know I just I just they just I, I yeah, it stuck to me. I get back here and I'm like like I open my book, I'm like, oh, that word's still there. And then I put fate next to it. And that's kind of like how th yeah. the name came. And then the meaning behind it was your, dest your destiny shall never die, which kind of like I ran out of water. Um, <laughs> um, but like it was more so just like, well, I mean, when you're immortal, you can't die. And fate kind of like means destiny. So I kind of like tried to put the two together. And for a 15-year-old, my English was really shit. So I was like trying to come up with ideas and I just like, wrote it down one day i was like i'll just i'll just roll with that yeah and that's kind of how like everything kind of came to be I, and made the t-shirts and yeah copped it still got yeah i was gonna that. say so yeah. wait were you selling these at that age then mm -mm. as well or literally just so, designing everything for yourself you know i was i didn't i never did anything for myself so i was really like dumbfounded to everything um i didn't ask anyone for help like oh hey like how do you start a brand i kind of like just went into it myself um and like i made the t-shirts and everything and i got them made with like a really i don't want to like shit on gildan but yeah that's where everyone starts but like it was like it wasn't a great blank you know so i was like but for a 15 year old i was like wow like i made my own t-shirt and i was so inspired by like jaden smith as well at the time oh yeah so like my first design was like an overlap kind of thing i don't know it looked so weird at the time but <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by overlap what's that so um have you seen like his Sire merch in 2018? Which one? What is it? Jaden Smith's like Sire oh, merch. Si yeah. I'm trying to, man. Yeah. I can't remember. Like the, the text was like, uh -huh. kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's I don't know how to do that stuff. Yellow and purple and that. Yeah, yellow, yellow, pink, purple. Yeah, that's the one. I don't know how to do that stuff. So I like kind of like just overlapped the words. Uh, yeah. And then I just uh, right. kept putting, and I just put it down. And that's the idea I went with. And then, yeah, like I made the tease. I got bullied for it. <laughs> I don't know how much you want to dive into that, but why yeah, would you be getting? They said mortal, mortal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why, yeah. why would you be getting? Like this is. I mean, this is also something. Yeah. I mean, all right. Yeah. This I is don't. why I'm asking even the a all the age stuff and that. Yeah. There's a lot of layers to this, right? Um, one question that I want to ask you, probably I'll answer after, is like, mm. or even something to talk about is like, it's interesting how at that age you're saying 15, but for yeah. you that's like three years ago. For me, I'm thinking, oh, 15 is a hot that's minute ago. Yeah. Yeah. But at that time though, where you're doing that, it's very, very viable thing for you to be able to do. I yeah. think we kind of touched on it last last week, but we'll talk about that one after. Yeah. But yeah, wait, why is that something that you'd be getting like bullied for? What 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 is being I mean, dragged look, from that? Because clothes are a cool thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, just got, cool I got criticized for the design, first of all. Um, and then like, I'd like, I told a couple people and word just got out. Yeah. Like everyone, my school, like shit, get, shit got around like it was a fucking virus. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like, if someone told someone something and like, oh, don't tell anyone, bro. <laughs> the whole circle's they gonna know. know. I trusted you. <laughs> yeah, so I told like a couple people and I was like, like, I met, like, I think, and then word got around to people like, oh, like, what are you doing? And then there were like a group of people that, you know, we're like, okay, we're gonna shit on this guy. And then the whole school kind of like followed. Mm. I find that so weird. Yeah. 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 Because I don't think, I feel, all right. No one was really starting clothing brands like that in, out, like in high school that I can yeah, remember. Yeah, I mean, you're in year nine at the end of the day. Yeah. And like yeah. people, ex like what you, even your parents especially, like just focus on school. Like what are you getting yourself yeah. into, you know? Um, what were you Slightly about? different though, because now you doing that now, I can get that. Like as in, in the t the type of world this we're in now, time, right? Yeah. This, yeah. These times, right? You doing that now? Like if a kid is talking about a brand in year seven, I think we even interviewed someone. Oh, you guys did at Ego. That was how old? Oh, Hames, yeah, eleven years. Nah, old. I was even. Nah, I was even. I forgot that. No, but it was a young. It was what, how old is he? Uh, eleven. He took, uh, yeah, eleven years old. The one that was shopping around. So like, like, yeah. I'm oh, like, the Modi kid. Yeah, that Modi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he came to the booth. I remember. Yeah, but like. 11 years old, I'm like, oh yeah, it makes sense. Like if I was a father of an 11 year old in this day and age, yeah. making a brand, I'm like, yeah. do your thing. You know what? I'll even supply you with some blanks, not gilding though, because I'm hearing some, <laughs> hearing some blanks. But uh, immortal fate sense. blanks. Uh, yeah, immortal fate blanks. But like then, like our, uh, us at 15, mm. I can see how it's weird. Like you're doing a whole brand thing. 
but it wouldn't be something to like pick on someone I feel like for. it must have been so much harder as well because like Photoshop, the concept like, yeah, yeah the resources like, yeah. and there weren't many like screen printing companies and like the whole idea of like screen printing, like, embroidery was more popular I would say like in twenty four. Yeah, twenty fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, 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 screen printing's <laughs> been around for years, you know. But like, like if you look at it, if you look at it like this way, like I, in my in my opinion, I don't think anyone tw in twenty fourteen would be like, yeah, let me open up Photoshop and mm. let me make a design, you know. What the heck were we doing? What <laughs> paint? You know what's yeah, actually what crazy? Yeah. In year nine, I actually wanted to start a clothing thing. Yeah, mm. and my dad was cool with it because he was like. He was from that age. He's like, start a business. Like any, like if I would have said anything other than like selling cheeks, he'd be like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't know why it never happened. I think it was because it was hard to design stuff. It's very. Yeah, hard. Are you getting yourself yeah, thinking about it right now? Or mm. that's a, that's a also, I don't stuff. think there were many people doing that at the time. Mm. I didn't know of many like you know individuals who yeah. were starting up like a clothing brand or yeah. you know anyone that you can't can kind of look up to or go and get inspiration mm. from. Whereas now you know there's quite a few and everyone's doing something. Everyone different. wants to do it now, mm. and like everyone's I feel like their uncle, bro. Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's <laughs> facts, facts. Facts. you guys have cooler. Um, Reference points, yeah, because like we can we look, last kings. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You know, have you heard of Last Kings? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. oh, yuck, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, that yeah. was what we're dealing with. <laughs> that, Chris Brown. Brown. that Chris Brown, that yeah. Chris Brown, oh, yeah. Yeah. them yeah. long ass yeah. shirts, that's what we had, Kappa, yeah. Kappa, and all that as well. Oh yeah. man, free yeah. ass, man. No, not, not, yeah, Kappa was like, yeah, but you know, they're making their slack comeback a little bit. That's all right. No, I made the comeback, yeah, I kind of like dipped out of it. I feel like they're gonna come back a bit more. They're doing a couple collabs and whatnot, but yeah, like you guys had Last King, you guys had Travis to look up to. Mm. You know what I mean? Which yeah. I think we were saying, like, nah, I, I but can see a lot of Travis kind of slight influence in, in mm. maybe the way you I was dress, very, but also- I was very inspired clothes. by Travis yeah, okay. Scott, but yeah. another, like, one of my biggest inspirations I could say was ASAP Rocky. Yeah. Oh, yeah like, a hundred percent. I ain't seen you in leather jeans, bro. Yeah. I mean, uh, leather, yeah, leather pants. <laughs> leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm planning on making some. Um, cause I, That's some real I army uniform, bro. <laughs> 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 but, like, like I, got, I, will, I will tell you for free right now. I will not be purchased. One of I got, I got, like, I, I got, wear it. I got big legs. So <laughs> yeah. I don't want to like, yeah. like my thighs you? look weird, and then like, if, oh. if, if like, the yeah. cut was, you know, I don't want that. Leather pants. I'm looking double cheeked up. <laughs> bro, yeah, the leather's nah. back on the cow, bro. <laughs> bro, yeah, man's yeah, looking yeah. like a heifer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my dude. Yeah, we definitely asked you why were you getting bullied, and here we are talking. Yeah, about yeah. You. facts, <laughs> facts, <laughs> facts. Hey, we'll take it back. Yeah. So yeah, what the heck? Like, I find that's just weird. Like, what were they saying? What was going on? Like. If whatever lot, you want to say, like, whatever, yeah. like, did they even look at your design? It wasn't like, like it was like to my face. Like, mm -hmm. I'd find out obviously. From yeah, like, okay. like it was like more so like back talk. Yeah, but yeah. um, some things that really caught my caught my eye were like someone so basically like bought a t shirt, and then he like cut it up and then he fire burnt out. it. He like set it on fire. Okay, this is yeah. weird. Nah, that's Whoa, yeah. Yeah. Wait, like, this wow. another fifteen year old doing that? Yeah. Because like, wait, wait, how do you have the money to yeah. spend? Yeah, that's that's no, 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 bro, that's no, no, no. That's also got money, fifteen but nowadays. Yeah, yeah, no, no, they got money. Forget it, it's not us, but damn, we old, bro. Just recently, fifteen was ten years ago. Like I would never buy. Damn, bro. Fifteen was ten years ago, bro. You already know the math. Stop laughing. No, it was. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was yeah. For you guys, not for me. That was three years <laughs> nah, ago. He was like, me. whoa. That's three years for yeah, me. It's, yeah, it's like, yeah. shit. You yeah, know what's wild. crazy? This guy yeah. started a brand at 15. I found out what an avocado was at 16. <laughs> I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen an avocado in my life until I came to Australia. That's so childish. I mean, that makes sense. That's surprising, bro. Yeah. That's very surprising. It's not part of our cuisine, but then also mm. I think my parents were like, like, it, like, they weren't poor at all. I love how he starts off with that. But they like to live as if we were when we were young. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I feel, oh yeah. <laughs> no, 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 Is there, is there no, anything, no. yeah? Can't like, okay, so, I mean, we were immigrants at the yeah, end of the yeah, day yeah. and like, we didn't, like, our upbringing was on like crazy, yeah. like, great. Like, it wasn't like we were, Balling and, yeah, like and I had like, expensive. I, yeah, oh, bro, bro. don't even we're, get me we started. We are now just tasting well, New Zealand. Uh, yeah, we're now we're just petrol. tasting New Zealand yeah, petrol, petrol prices. Price. They're, 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 they're on three dollars. Yeah, three yeah. up. Let's go. They're on three dollars now. <laughs> Run it up. Um, they're like I think ninety one three bucks now. Yeah, like two, two, yo, two hundred, two ninety eight or something. I don't know. Two ninety eight. Love that for them. It is. It is a slight. 
it is uh, very it's ethnic very different thing or immigrant thing when when you do Just that live well below your means yeah facts you, you get two types you get two yeah. types of immigrants the ones that I like don't know how do you spend money yeah I save and money. you do too yeah. much you do yeah. too much but you come here Loan your first for your house, birthday party <laughs> <laughs> because all they're still doing is they're still stuck in the mentality of yeah. back home yeah, they're trying yeah, to flex on everyone there facts or you're like let me hustle I can, I'm living within my means. I know mm. I'm trying to get to, so let me not do too much. Yeah. So let me not buy avocados. <laughs> <laughs> my parents didn't go to a restaurant for three years. <laughs> when you yeah, go here, we didn't go, to, well, we didn't go oh, to many right. restaurants. Like until like I was probably a bit older, because my parents told me my etiquette was shocked. Like I used to throw like everything would just fall <laughs> apart. Like we go to a restaurant. <laughs> I was a, I was a very menace. very I was a menace kid. Yeah. I was a menace kid. Yeah. Like my parents still tell me that like you used to be so <laughs> annoying. Like. We'd go to a restaurant, a fork would fall, but the whole plate would fall with it. Oh. <laughs> 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 <So laughs> you know that is one of my fears when it comes to having kids, especially boys. You know there's like some little boys where it's like, like you're loud. actually a terrorist. They're, whoa. 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 Like have you met any of those kids where they're like, they just terrorize everything. Man. Yeah. just like, I was gonna say a joke, I but I'll get canceled, bro. Yeah, my kid's gonna be a terrorist. What a hilarious guy. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, not going to say it because we used to have family friend. Their sons mm. were like that, like three of them. Nah, I and that's probably what put me off little boys. That sounds crazy. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> but like for the longest, that sounds, that for the sounds, longest, I would, for the longest, I would always be like, like, like I don't even want, like, boys. I'm not, bro. If I can push having a son to the last child, I'd do it, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I had a son, it would literally just be to protect nah, my but daughters. Even daughters now, enjoy. like, even like young, like, um, daughters nowadays, they're also pretty sassy. And sassy. Yeah, 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 attitude, bro. Oh my mm -hmm. days. Bro, you can't talk to a primary schooler anymore without them <laughs> saying, I'm actually 10. Yeah, you said it's six. That's it. Damn, bro. That's My so, bad. You know what's crazy? You're as far from an 11 year old as you are from me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's not wrong. Yeah. That's wow, crazy, bro. man. That's crazy. How did you fuel all that kind of like, or how did you even deal with it first? Let's even ask that. How did you deal with that kind of, um? because times, uh, times have definitely changed. Like, we talk all this old, whatever we laugh about it, but times have drastically changed for yeah. sure, man. Yeah, yeah, you got like how, so much Things more. have not changed. Yeah. How we view them or how they are presented has definitely changed. Mm. People are getting bullied for the longest, you know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah, All this kind of stuff has happened. But for us, let's say it's a lot of like, let's say notes being passed around in class kind of vibes or straight up to your face kind of bullying. Yeah. Compared to now, there's a whole avenue of someone being able to buy a top, uh, cut it up and burn it I, I, in order to yeah, bully you, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like these, True. these are not the type of it's things that you have to like, but like think for having like not the cool eraser or something. Literally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You didn't have the right color. No, that was bullies. in primary school. Yeah. yeah, that was in primary school. Yeah. Like, but um, yeah, so that happened. And then um, I was doing, I think it was like year, yeah, still year, year nine. Um, I had like a media project um and i wanted to everything i tried to do i tried to incorporate the brand mm. so like i was like telling my teacher i was like because i was cool with my teachers as well so i was kind of like telling like oh i started this and they're like i mean not many people believe in you you're 15 years old and you're telling yeah, yeah, yeah. you're telling they're like what i'm like it's cute yeah it's <laughs> cute. Hey, like, that's what i like oh yeah good on you like keep going i'm like i will <laughs> but um i took three t-shirts to school because I had to get like a shoot done for like this, like we were doing like magazine covers or something. Mm. Yeah. And I could actually, Loki you think I could pull it up. It's so like funny because like, yeah, this is recent stuff for you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm trying to look for for something. If I'm trying to pull up my VizCon <laughs> project, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and a photo somewhere. Like this photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I posted hey, it. Yeah, you um, black and white photos, bro. <laughs> like, relax. I posted it on the gram. That's why. Yeah. Um, oh, that needs to take the photo. You did VizCon? Yeah. 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 I was really into all of this. Like, I was. Wait, did you do VizCon? I did. Yeah, yeah. I did Viz. Nah, I did VizCon up until I think. Yeah, so I made or eleven or something. I made this. Oh, this was in year ten. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was in year ten, not year oh, nine. Oh, snap. So I was like. I made that for my media project yeah. Yeah. and we were doing the shoot and I like, I think my friend left his t-shirt in the bathroom and like the, cause he was like getting changed and everything. He like left it there. Came back. I was like, oh, I was cutting my t-shirt. I was like, oh, my third one's missing. Let me just go back and check the bathroom. And, um, oh, man. yeah, it ended up in the urinal actually. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. People are cruel. So, That's interesting. Bro. Mm. People are cruel, man. Like 
Yeah, but no, no, that's the person doing it. I mean, for him, yeah. like he said it before that he was like mortal piss. Yeah, no, I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> you said it was. So I mean, obviously not, nah, but like name. to me, to me, it's very, to me, it's funny now. Now, yeah, because um, yeah, yeah. obviously you're like laughing like haha. Resilience. But, um, but, but like this is at the time, a real period of time. Yeah, real and, and the thing is, is like. Obviously, as a fifteen-year-old, you didn't have much money. Yeah, yeah. I like. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah. I was like reselling stuff to even get the t-shirts yeah. made. So sure. I got scammed as well. That's why I stopped reselling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. But um, like mortal L's, bro. What's yeah, going facts, on, bro? <laughs> mortal L's, bro. Like, bro. Can't but mortal without the L. <laughs> 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 but um, you're bullying him again. No, 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 that and they, they they were telling me like oh it doesn't matter like you still made the money and I was like to me still like even till now the money doesn't matter yeah uh, to me what matters is how my cust like how my customers feel about my product mm -hmm. how my quality is mm. how my prints look how my designs look because I don't want someone to walk out with a t-shirt just like immortal fake and it, they bought it for like a hundred bucks like yeah it makes no sense so um yeah like a lot of a lot of the time like during school like I copped shit and like. It wasn't great, so I didn't really like going to school. And people were embarrassed to wear my stuff. Like some people did, like buy it as like, oh, like let's, like I'll support you, but um, it wasn't like oh, I'm gonna buy, it, I'm gonna wear it, you know. Like they'd wear yeah. it to sleep or they'd wear it at home, and Jeez. I'm like, yeah, wear it to sleep. It's cool, like you know, like I, for me, I was like, oh damn, I really want people to wear it out. Out, yeah. But I looked past it, and then I did a another like piece. Um, and it was called like the Europe collection and that was 2019 as well. And like one of my like mates, he like, <laughs> mates. Mates. he like bought it and he like pre-ordered it before it even came. He was like, oh, I'm going to buy your next drop. So he bought it. The, I gave him the hoodie and the guy like never like ever showed it off. Like he'd like cover it up with a Jersey or he'd cover it up with like something else or a t-shirt or something. And I'm like, yo, like, what? Well, and I mean, to be honest, like now looking back at it, the, sh the things that I put on it, I was like, <laughs> I'd cover that with a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> mm, but Saved my life. At, yeah, 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 no, but like, yeah. like I, my English, as I said, my English was <laughs> shit. So like, but the thing is, I had really well in English in year twelve, year eleven. So, um, I looked back at, it, I, I looked, I looked back at it, and like now, and I'm like, what did I write? Because I was really inspired by like this guy called Justin Escalona. Um, I don't know if you was guys have, he was a YouTuber okay, yeah. and he started a brand called like 1340. So he, um he like basically got like a PNG or something or like, it wasn't like too crazy. He kept it really simple. I was like, shit, I'll try that as well. So I just like got a painting and just put it on the back of a crew neck and a hoodie. I put like a quote under it and the quote made zero sense. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we talk about, uh, we talk about following our destiny, but the real question is why. And I was like, okay, I mean, it sounds, it doesn't sound like, it doesn't sound like how the brand is now. It sounds like I gave up. Like, why am I talking about it? Yeah. Like, why am I, you know, so he like covered it up. A lot of people, like a lot of people like still like here and there, like getting, like buying it, but it wasn't like support that I, that like it gets now, you know? So um, yeah, that happened. I got bullied for that as well. So I never got criticized. I never got like, it was like, oh, you should switch this up. It was just like, oh shit, mm. I don't like it. I'm like, cool. Like, I really can't really do much about it. Um, And then around that time, I like just I didn't want to do the brand anymore. I was like, yeah, I yeah. give up. And I had 200 pieces on my back. Cause like my dad helped me out with this one and we got it imported. So like, they weren't like normal blanks. Like they were also cut and sewn, but like I had really no idea like what a size chart was or how, how, how I should size or what patterning was or anything. So like I just asked them to send stuff, um, and then like I had two hundred pieces on my back, and up until like probably twenty twenty was still there, like that was just sitting in my garage, just collecting dust. But I was like, you know what? I'll scrap that. Let me just try something new. So I think around quarantine was like where my pinnacle kind of was, and that's where like I really felt like I, what I was doing was you know have you have you seen like those like websites where you, like they give you the t-shirt and you can just like put a design on it mm. on the back and the front and you can oh, just yeah. buy like a single piece yeah. <clears throat> can't no no not really but like um i don't even know what they were called they were called like spread not spread shit yeah spread shit yeah, or yeah, something spread something, spread something yeah. like that so like i just like 
choose the blanks and I just put random designs that I was just making and they kept coming in and I'm like, I low-key see potential because I'm getting better at my designing. And um, that's when like 2020 quarantine was where I was like, yo, like I should actually try again. So I was like, okay, I'll do one more thing. If this doesn't go well, then I'm just not going to bother. Yeah. I'm not even going to bother running this business. I was ready to deactivate my account. I was ready to like just call it a day. And um, I remember going to my sister. This, this is why I call her my number one supporter because I remember going to my sister at like four in the morning. Was that your sister that was at? Yep. You good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was, and I was like, um, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I'm going to call it quits. And she's like, no, just keep going. Like, I, she, because she forced my parents to help me out, like, to be like supportive of it as well. So I was like, if I pull out of this, then they're going to be like, okay, he's just washed up, you know? So she's like, at four in the morning, she's like, just keep going. Like, everything will be fine. And, I mean, kudos to her still. Like, she still helps me out. I actually, like, she came to the expo and everything. So I did this last release, and it was, like, a butterfly T-shirt and a hoodie. And um, that went well. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, now I'm set. And I went back to the supply. I did it local again. I was stupid. It's the most dumbest decision I did. I worked local again. <laughs> Because, I mean, like, look, I mean, to anyone, to, like, any young viewers that are watching, like, yeah, work local, but these guys, like, the labor's cooked. You're, like, they're charging you, f oh, it's stupid. So, um, I think after that drop, like, a supplier, like, a supplier hit me up, and he was like, hey, like, hello, sir, we we, we do this, we do that. Man getting sir, 17. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I think that's just how they approach yeah, it, you yeah, know? Yeah. Like, they're approaching the brand. You're trying to get the bag, bro. Yeah. <laughs> And um and I was like I thought he was a dodgy ass guy. I was like, bro, like I don't trust you. But I ordered like these pants and then they were like reflective, mm. and reflective at around quarant around that time around 2020 was like really in. Like everyone wanted something reflective, yeah. so I like I've got these and I was like, can you make these? But can you make like a bunch of these? And I was like, how much do you need? And I was like, I started off. I was broke at the time, as so I was like. I probably geez, and hungry, <laughs> starving. I probably made like two hundred profit off everything that I did. Dang. So, yeah, I'm I'm telling you, like profiting when you're first starting out, or like when this pick up, bro, you're not gonna get, disgusting. you're not gonna get anything. Like you'd be sitting there looking at your bank account, like, oh shit, <laughs> it's going down. That was it's, great. Yeah, it's not going up, it's going down. I remember when I first did the t-shirts, I was like negative one hundred and seventeen. He remembers the, the yeah. number of cents too. Oh, I remember. What's the cents? I went, or? I went to walk to get food and um, I was like, oh, I'll pay. <laughs> and I looked at the thing and it was like, because I, I kept trying. I was like, oh, no, surely it's fine. Like I, I've made a couple bucks. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks. 20 bucks should be fine. <laughs> bro, I, I look back at my account and I'm like, oh, shit. Hey, you got this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I told my sister, I went with my sister. Because we were new to the country at the same time. So, like, even with, like, mates and I started this thing. So, I kind of, like, didn't have many mates to talk to. Um, And I was like, can you, like, pay? Because I don't really, uh, not my shout, you know. Um, but like, then, when I said, keep going. <laughs> no, but that was when I started. That was, I, went to, I went to during quarantine. And I was like, I just can't yeah, do yeah. this anymore. Um, And then, like. Shit, where were we? Yeah, I walked. <laughs> yeah, <it> walked. <laughs> yeah, so um, after that, um, had 200 and he was asking for 300. And I was going to make like 30 pieces made, 20, 30 pieces made. And I was like, can you please, like, I'm begging you. I don't have much money, but can you just hook me up this time? And I promise you, I'll just keep working with you. The guy's my main supplier now, mind oh, you. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's like my go-to. So like that hat was made from him, the yeah. jumper. Like so that. everything, yeah. So, um. He was like, and then the whole time I was like, bro, you're a scammer. Like, I don't trust you. <laughs> I was trying to get in his head because I feel like if I kept getting in his head, he'd like actually get my stuff done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because he's got a brand to like. Yeah. So, to show yeah, 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 so yeah, I was yeah. I was telling him, I'm like, bro, like, like I don't I don't trust you. I just I didn't say like you're a scammer. I was like, I don't trust you. Like, are you sure you're going to get my stuff done? This, that. And it was my first time working overseas. And he's like asking me to like use these weird outlets to pay. And I'm like, bro, this is this is shocking. You know, but um, he got the pants done and like we came to an agreement, like I'll give him the 200 and then the next release, if it does well, I'll give him like an extra 100. Um, 
Turns out oh, that I'm dropped so sorry, that, ex- that drop sold out. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Yeah. I thought this, this was is going indie. in a different direction. Yeah. That's good. That so that good. that so 2020 was my pinnacle year. After that drop, yeah. everything kind of went like uphill for me, awesome. and I was like, I was very happy at like how everything was going. And then after that, I was like, okay, now I'm actually gonna bring Immortal Fate to what I actually want to bring it to, which is telling stories on a piece of clothing. So every piece after that was like. Um, I had like a hoodie. It was like two guys holding a gun at each other. Yeah, trust no that. one. So like every piece, like really, I wanted it to show some sort of sense of hope, some shorter sense, like so, like something so different. Like the piece was cool, but at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, like you're buying it for like um, you're you're buying it, mm-hmm. but in my eyes, it's like you're wearing a piece of like a story that I put together. You, yeah. I have something else I want to ask, but what's Top. the idea behind, I think it what, Lost Hearts or Lost Hearts? Lost Hearts. Yeah, Lost yeah. Hearts. So yeah, that was, that so that's an interesting piece on the back. That's yeah, the brown so, tea. So that's like, so there's like a, sh- um, a shirab like, so I don't know if you can tell, there's a heart in the bush okay. and it's, it's looking out that way. Yeah. And he's holding an arrow, which means he's already shot it, but like, it's kind of like, that's kind of where I got the concept of Lost Heart. It was kind of like, it was the point where I was kind of just giving up. And I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Um, shit got emotional, obviously. Yeah. I was like, like, Immortal Fate was something that I, still is, is like a baby to me. So um, I got like, it got pretty bad. The reason I asked that one specifically is because yeah. I can see that that was one of the ones where it's mm. a little bit more like artistic mm. with it. Yeah, well. yeah. yeah. so um, it's basically like a point in my life where I just kind of felt like giving up. And that's like the... Thing I put on my blurb on my website as yeah. well, like I put that there, like um, a time where I felt lost or something. Mm-hmm. So, like to give people that, um, not story, but like some sort of like context, emo- yeah, some yeah. sort of context behind yeah. um, what I was actually trying to portray. That's interesting. So, yeah. When I first met you, it was straight vibes and everything. I'm like, this guy got their pieces, yeah, but now yeah, to hear yeah. like you've got the ideas behind yeah. these yeah. things, cool. and yeah. as well as like. Yeah, shades are on now. Shades are back on. <laughs> that's that's pretty interesting, man. Yeah, that, that's where it all kind of comes from. I think you mentioned something interesting um, that I kind of want to hear about a bit more is like when you said how like even for your school projects and assignments, you'd be incorporating yeah, immortal yeah. face somehow mm. and all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. How is it when you've got like, and you guys can all say the same thing too, when you've just got an idea in your head, yeah. it doesn't leave you. Yeah, because I'm sure there's things like that probably Bruh. around here. for you. I know for sure. You know, I mean, there's ideas or, or something to do or something to take action on in your head, and day to day you're not doing that thing exactly. And you just feel like it just yeah, deteriorates. How, yeah, 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 yeah. What does that feel like? I mean, it everyone, feels everyone says till so. now, till now. Like if I have an idea, I have to put it out. Like I not put it out. It just has to go. Start somewhere. to action. It be, it yeah, like yeah. it'll start with an idea, and then you'd like start to think about it way more, and it'll get to a point where you're just like. I'll get onto Photoshop and I'll do it. Mm-hmm. Um, so like when I came up with like the idea to like incorporate it in my school work, I was more so thinking like, I just want to get my name out. Mm. And at one point I was like, okay, fuck whatever, like wh- what anyone says, what anyone thinks. I like, I and I told people, I was like, this brand like a baby to me. So I really just tried to push it out at one point. Like I was like, no matter what, it would be on a media assignment or, I mean, usually on a media assignment because yeah. I'll oh, probably business like I'd yeah, like yeah, I'd incorporate yeah, yeah. it then. But it wouldn't be like, you know, I don't know. Like I just couldn't leave it. I just had to put keep putting it out. And that's kind of like how I still do it now. Like if the idea is there, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to hold back. Yeah. How do you guys do with that? I know for sure there's you with like yeah. how you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Branch out, pattern up life and all that kind of stuff. For me, right? For the past two weeks. So strongly, I've had. I don't want to say it on here because I got. You know what I mean? But no, no, go for it. Nah, 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 nah. but I had strongly, like, some just think, bro, just do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you get that. And I'm like, yeah. I'm, in my head, I'm like, hey, oh God, right now's the time where you need to confirm this, or this is this <laughs> devil trying to make me do something. Crazy. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? yeah. Have you but, done anything towards making that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reality? For sure, for sure, for yeah. sure. But it's just that interesting thing that, like, I feel like. Majority of people, like most people on this planet, have that not one thing because there's many, many things I feel like mm. everyone's here to do and achieve. Mm-hmm. But there's always a strong impression or inclination to do something. But so many other things get in the way. And it's crazy how many people one don't ever take action in whatever that thing I mean, is, like, yeah. or even just day to day. 
living with that. Yeah. yeah. Like, how so. can you, man? Because it's just, it, it, bro, it's, it's it eats you up. It eats you it's up. Very it crippling, really bro. Like, up. nothing else feels like worth doing mm. when you have that 100%. thing at the back of your mind. Like yeah. Even if some things are like survival, if it's like work because you need to make money, yeah. if it's this friendship, this relationship, whatever it might be, unless you like, those are all good and well and they need to be done. But if you're not doing that thing, yeah. those things, yeah. wow, that's crippling. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah. I, sorry, to add on that one, I think you could substitute other things to fill that in. I don't think you can, bro. Nah, you can. In what uh, way? In what way? In a way, in terms of if you're not There'll really- There'll be subpar, bro. So example, if you're not really, because um, I'm thinking more of like people who kind of sacrifice, you know, the career and all that stuff mm. to come down here and, you know, whatever job it is that they're working, it's not something that they're passionate about, right? But the fact that they're there with their family substitutes that mm. particular aspect Yo, of it. Those are, that's kind of framed differently though. Because like that's a life and yeah, thing where it's like yeah, but survive. I'm talking about he's talking about an idea, like it's like yeah, it's or like an idea and an action an needed. Idea take. And action for for needed example, take. not everyone has come from war tour situations, but they're not the greatest, right? So, for example, like my family in Nigeria, it wasn't that there was any civil war or anything going yeah. on. It's, it's just, just lifestyle like, was just not like, being yeah, very the, conducive. I, right? I feel like that's just like with all of us, yeah, because at the end of the day, we're all immigrants. Mm. Yeah, Iraq was a bit techy. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, Iraq, Iraq was. Iraq was wait, so like, were you like, were you, you weren't born there though, were you? You were born back home, yeah. So, but like for example, yeah, where we'd come from, like yeah. So I have relatives still in Nigeria right now. They're doing okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're doing yeah. well. They're doing mm. all right. So for my parents, it could have been that, but for them, it was that crippling. Like, now we need to get out, bro. Yeah, like, we just need dream to dip. more for life. So it's like if they in right a now, way, when you think about it, sorry, it's like they must have had that idea of leave Nigeria, leave Nigeria, leave Nigeria, yeah. that they went like. I just like, even though I have family around, even though I have all this, like I can't live life to the fullness that I want to live yeah. it. Yeah. If I don't leave Nigeria. So, yeah. for example, for so for that parent who's like that maybe was. left the dream job, it's not as necessarily a substitute for the dream job thing, but it's like the decision to do this to come the here is still better yeah. than even if I'm not doing my dream job because this was the more crippling thing. Now yeah. I had my dream job where I was, but. I am not doing it in this yeah, country. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get out yeah. and yeah. then they're out. Yeah, you get me? Yeah, 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 I get it. But I'm just saying you, now they accept the fact that they're not doing what it is that they want to do. But the fact that, you know, they can see their children succeed, that's more of joy for them. You know what I mean? Mm. Is that a point? I, I, I can see that. Point. Mm. Yeah. I think in terms of like a, a passion thing though, yeah, it is hard to like- To leave it. Like in terms of a passion idea, not in terms of a- Life, to, Li- not, yeah, even, not even life decision. Because sometimes a passion yeah, yeah. decision becomes a life, life decision, decision, which is now like that's what you're kind of yeah, doing yeah, now. Exactly. You know, mm. a passion project, yeah. becomes a brand becomes now yeah. your source of income. For me, it's kind of like hey, the whole yeah, thing yeah. of like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's the whole thing of like, you know how like life is just constantly a thing on thing on thing on. Seasons like, in that, yeah. Because I'm so passionate about this thing, and I want to, then I want to do it right. Mm. And so it's like I kind of want everything else in life to just stop. So mm. I can just give Basically it time. Just try yeah, it, yeah, you know? yeah. And so like, that's been the struggle recently with me. It's like, yeah. I've, yeah, I've done all the easy stuff. So I've got all the social handles. I've got the domain. I've got all that kind of mm. stuff. Why not? But it's like now make it look how you want it to look. Yeah. And oh, hundred percent. It's like hundred percent, bro. Every 100%. night there's something. Every yeah. weekend there's something. Every whatever. Yeah. It's like, and then on top of that, especially like when you're involved in like big investments now, right? Now it's like, okay, cool. I actually can't afford to kind of drop this. True. Right? Yeah. To go and pursue. Oh, you know what I mean? Because yeah. now it's like, all right, cool. I can look, you got to stay here to make sure that, see, if I go to the bank, say I'm buying a property to live in in a couple of years. Yeah. Right? Because look, if you have your own business, you go over there, like, bro, they'd they be techie. They'd be, ha- giving, they be giving, hating on, on nah, business. Nah, they'd be owners. hating on business. They'd go like, uh, income is nice. <laughs> But, you but I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like mm. you know, that's mm. been my biggest mm. fear with having my own business. To be honest, that that is that is a that is a Ooh. big fear. A lot of people switch up on you as well. Yeah, a lot of people switch up on you as well. Like you don't really like think about it too much, but it happens. Wait, so your fear is that it might not be sustainable? Is that what you guys saying? Nah, he believes that it will be, but yeah. it's also just the thing of like a lot of what you do is quite dependent on also other people's other people. uptake of what you do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, which is a very scary. <laughs> type of thing yeah. to live in because yeah. you never know it's praise you one day it's crucify you the next kind of thing yeah. you know what I mean so yeah. Yeah. that's the drop, drop one yeah. Ukraine collection uh, <laughs> everyone's offended <laughs> <laughs> no but if I was to do something like that I feel like I, I 100% no, you do it tastefully yeah, yeah. no with, uh, um, the money from that would definitely go towards yeah. charity or yeah. some sort yeah. of charitable trust awesome. in order to help because like 
I mean, look, if you're making like ten grand off a, off like just a release, yeah. just give. It's crazy. Even like fifty percent. Yeah. Yeah. Like well, it's still helping out, you know. Yeah. I was gonna say because there is like this not craze, but I think we're moving into like a generation where a lot of people want to start something on their own, mm. like yeah. become their own boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start their own businesses and Real stuff. Quick, I wonder if it's mm. even become your own boss because I don't know if that's necessarily what the thing well, is. Like but it's yourself. like yeah. it's more so doing what you really want to do. do. Yeah, like you want to do something, you're able to do it. It comes but can't in, you do you know, what like you want to do in line with us with like else, us though. doing, you can. In line with us for like community stuff we do, mm-hmm. right? We can do what we want to do kind of, mm. with, which we have someone to like mm. oversee though at the end of the day. Yeah. But we're like, I'd rather just do our own thing, have our own fun, like our own kind of like channel of support. So when I want to make a decision, there's no one I need to talk to. So it's not mm. even necessarily like own bossing, but it's like to be able to just do like no one's really trying to own a business and run day to day mm. but that comes with doing what you want to do yeah you, you get what i'm saying yeah yeah but then you can also do what you want to do but just under someone else who's but already got an established capped. i think it's the fact that you know it's capped mm. like all right if i want to be a a dentist and it's like i mean this is a crazy good salary but it's like <laughs> all right the cap as an employee you're talking 300k maybe Right. If you have Probably your practice now. Four, 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 if you got if you got enough like cause um mom, like my mate's mom, yeah. she's a dentist. Yeah, just put I'm, I'm just not gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not yeah, gonna you guys need to go. You know, yeah. Yeah. But, she did. Yeah. <laughs> Why do they live? <laughs> no 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 they, they like Which, hey, no, no, and you have yeah. more ballot clouds. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nah, play up. Nah, nah, that is that's we'll leave the name. There is a cap to it. Yeah. If it's I salary, know, it's like, yeah, uh, yeah, let's yeah, say yeah. you're a dentist and but you're employed, your salary, let's say, caps at 400, right? Which yeah, is pro- luxury. Yeah. 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 Oh, so bro, hundred, like 200 grand's luxury. Yeah. Man yeah. said, what is the immortal face? Show me them, them <laughs> canines, bro. Let me see them teeth, bro. Let me see the canines. <laughs> <laughs> canines. Okay. If you want to open your own practice now, mm. sky's the limit. Oh, fuck. Sky's yeah. the limit. But yeah. now it comes with the whole business. Aspect. But now, yeah. <laughs> now I, said, I don't know if many people in this generation, this day and age, are trying to be business owners in terms of like, no one's fantasizing over the hours required to like- Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, one, no one really realizes that. that as well. The like, hour, yeah. Like the, work you, the amount of hours, oh, sorry. The amount of hours that you have to like put in, like to running a business yeah, or to like even like, you know, like get the, not even, yeah. Like even starting up the business, bro, it takes- a year or two, it'll pro- it'll t- like depending on how you want to go with it. If you want it to like, if you want to execute it correctly, mm-hmm. um, it easily yeah. like you're looking at probably a year yeah. at mm-hmm. most. Most there's a the whole aspect of like, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a whole aspect like you know, my, my dad saying some business where it's like. When you're the boss, you work for everyone. Oh yeah, yeah. you're everyone's bitch, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially when you have employees. Yeah. Like, yeah, like they're working for you. At the end of the day, you're the one that's giving the salary. If you don't give the salary, they're gonna leave. They're gonna leave you regardless. Hundred like, percent. They can go find if they're doing well and they know they're doing well and they can easily go find another job. Then why wouldn't they? You know. Damn employees, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually one thing. Like for example, for me, it's like I want to get to a point where I have employees, but. I've been thinking about it, I'm like, I don't know. I, if I, I would employees. only want employees that I actually oh. know and trust. Mm. Yeah. You good? Yeah, yeah, carry on. It's like, that's great. And yeah, that's only a team of six people in total. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to take I a short intermission real quick. because uh, someone decided to not plug in the uh, phones, which is probably me, but it might be someone else. I was oh. actually going to ask <laughs> Yeah, you guys, why are none of them plugged in? I was actually it's it's not even charged, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh man. And you need, you need a break anyway. I surely need to so be good. after yeah, all this yeah, water yeah. you're drinking, bro. I need water. All right, we'll get you water, brother. Well, we are back Not and I have Aaron. no Not idea Aaron. what Nora was talking about before. <laughs> I don't know if he does either. All we know is he's got a one way. What the uh, heck what? did you, you just say? you know what you're talking about What's right now? One, 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 one one Actually, before we talk about your runway tomorrow, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's go back to ego. Uh. Yeah, so what was the experience like? It was good. Yeah, I liked- Because you did the runway fact, there I loved, too. I loved, uh, I loved ego, but I feel like, like the way, do you know what happened at the runway? Yeah, uh, I I merged I in with that. the models. Yeah, I merged in with that killed me. I, I saw you, I saw you get yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I was backstage nah. and I'm taking photos for your brand. Yeah, Wait, how's someone gonna yell at you and your own thing? <laughs> nah, he, he They're trying to make you no, 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 no. I don't blame him actually. No, what happened? It was too much. Yeah, I was getting so I was getting up on stage and Malia's like, "Oh, go!" and I was like, "Okay, yeah, go." Shit. Um, and my models, I thought they were. 
I thought they were gonna basically like, like <laughs> let me go down yeah. and then yeah. they'd follow. I'm getting through the middle <laughs> and they just start walking and I'm like, shit. So Bruh. I just improvised. I was going straight down. He came and did this yeah. and it started walking. He said, <laughs> he said, ah. Oh. Yeah, I walked and out. turning with them uh, as well. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what do I do? Do I just go back in the middle? Because <laughs> honestly, bro. But I feel like that's a, like, that's a, that's a good thing. Like yeah. that what I did was a good thing good because- Good memory, good memory. Nah, <laughs> it's because I like to keep my identity very low key, yeah, especially right. with the brand still. I didn't notice you oh, don't, yeah. obviously like you don't model the stuff. Or anything, I, on the page I do, very, on the oh, page I used to, oh. yeah. Like this one I did and the brown one and the black and like all my old pieces I did. Mm. Recently it's more so I'm oh, getting other people, yeah. but I'll probably jump on some. I like to, yeah, well, I enjoy it. Because I literally thought you're gonna walk down because I feel like people deserve to know you're the man behind this. I wanted to, I wanted it to be like, because I was like, oh, that's my first one. I really want people to know. Yeah. I'm getting, I'm literally going like straight down. I'm like, what the hell? What's, what's going on here? <laughs> but the structure of yours was different. It was nice. It was refreshing. I didn't know that. Like, I didn't structure. Have you seen the other ones before yours? No. No. Okay, because everyone was just the runways. Yeah, what, what was it? Everyone was just kind of doing just like a normal one, just walking up and down. He did his a little bit different. People coming and swapping, yeah. doing that. Yeah, just like, yeah. okay. I had an out. idea. I basically told Malia, I was like, can, can we just make it a bit, can we make it a bit different? Yeah. yeah. I don't want, because I like to switch. I don't know. I don't, it's not like I'm like, like trend, like, oh, I want to be different. Yeah. I just like to like switch stuff up that a was, lot. It was nice. Makes it memorable. Yeah. 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 Is that what you're doing tomorrow? Uh, kind of. I, I'm doing my, I'm doing the rehearsals tomorrow. So I kind of want like, when I'm walking out, um, I kind of want like everyone, because the stage is pretty wide, I think, okay, I'm not yeah. too sure. And I kind of want them to like all like line up like that so I can walk through, Ooh. you know? Like I, I, I'm i thinking about it, I have to sort every, I have to go tomorrow like 11 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so it was sort a fall, this is Melbourne. This is Melbourne Fashion Festival. Wow. Melbourne Fashion Festival. Yeah. How'd you get involved with that? Um, So we like knew someone and she's like heavily involved. Oh, shout out to Rashi. Shout and out to Rashi. basically, um, she messaged the guy that's organizing this one. Mm. And she's like, she gave him like a couple of brands, I'm pretty sure. And he just chose us and kind of went with oh, it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. A couple of brands and he chose you guys. Mm. Yeah, working with, um, Jess Lapil's going to be on it as well. Which oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it because like, at least I like, know someone from yeah, the expert. Yeah, right. It's cool. <laughs> Something pretty sick that you're saying how like in the beginning you're doing just stuff because stuff you have to break. You want to break it or what? <laughs> no, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. like, I'm like moving a lot. So I don't want to, I don't yeah, want to. leave a couple of talks behind. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, first of all, shout out, shout, <laughs> shout out to you for the drip. Um, yeah, all there. good. Yeah. People were loving that talk, yeah, man. Like you and we were like, you guys, one. yeah. The, the drip that I was rocking, like it was noticeable. Yeah. People were like, yo. Where'd you get that from? Where'd you get that from? Our booth got busy. Like I, I remember, I feel like you guys probably walked past a couple of times. Yeah, we, yeah. we had a line at one point. Yeah, so I love awesome. when, when people ask us. I just point at the booth right, right. there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go over there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, That's like mad, how you had bro. to transition from doing um, just things or like yeah. drops or whatever into like, all right, now this is what the brand is about. Yeah. This is more yeah, so yeah. the storytelling that. I but I, I really, I felt like it made me happy because I'm an extra. I love talking to people. So I wasn't like too scared or too shy. I mean, on yeah. Saturday morning, I was kind of like, oh, fuck. I'm kind of scared. But by like, by it the end of it, goes away. it goes away. Yeah. And like, I was on seltzers the whole day as well. So yeah. <laughs> that helps too. Shout out to 5 p.m. Yeah, shout out to 5 p.m. Um, have you guys seen this discussion that's happening at the moment? That's about where the heck are you about to go, bro? Uh, it's, I want to see what everyone's opinion is and what their like rationale is. No, but, um, I'm actually worried. Is this whole, no, nah, it's chill. Do you think there's more doors or people? Or oh, I've door, heard about doors that. Doors or wheels in the world? Yeah, doors wheels. or wheels. More some doors or more wheels? A group of friends like made some sort of like Facebook thing and like they were all voting and now it's just become this yeah. huge thing. I saw it this more morning. More doors yeah. or more wheels? More doors or more wheels? Uh, I feel like there'd be like, more more doors in the world. Okay. I can't lie. Is there an actual answer? I don't know. Oh, okay. We have to work it out. I would also probably say doors because for example, for a car, yeah. you have four doors, but you also have four wheels. We have wheels. four wheels as well. Yeah. No, we won't count the boot as a fifth door. But you have four wheels as well, right? So the ratio is one to one there. One to one, yeah. But there's no wheels on a house. But if you have a truck that is yes, mad long, yes. there's what? But six trucks wheels. don't have too many wheels. Six wheels. And then you Damn have it, there's wheels on that chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say wheels. Six oh, or seven shoot. on each chair. If, yeah, if oh, we're considering. Oh, yeah, there's a wait, if we're, con two doors two doors if we're considering every door in the world. <laughs> every door yeah. in the world. Wait, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, every door and every wheel in the world. Yeah. Bro. That's hard to That's hard to look at. What's the rationale? Because now you have to think about like. Imagine an office building. Yeah, office building. Like. 
mm. mean the amount of doors on that, but like then again, you could but like then there's chairs. chairs in you got like a building. clothing yeah. rack that probably has wheels. You've got like yeah, tables yeah. nowadays that also have like wheels yeah. that they're portable. Like oh, there's so many. Only wheels is the answer. Uh, right. Nah, right. <laughs> no? <laughs> nah. I'd still say doors. No, because think about it. At your house, how many wheels can you count? I mean, on I'm gonna go do that when I get home. Yeah, now. I'm gonna go count the wheels. Know, even just off the cars alone. Yeah. At my house, we have more than, than doors. doors. Really? How? 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 Wait, how? Bro, Everything cancel that. What do you say? Yeah. How are you gonna? <laughs> how many cars do you have at your house? You have three cars, right? Four times. That's that's twelve <laughs> wheels to get together. <laughs> Because he literally thought his own song. He's like, no, nah, he, he was, how he was looking at me yeah, like, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> there is one. Yeah, Wait, what? yeah all right, so, all right, so doors are winning by two. <laughs> But how many doors do you have in your house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, room has a door. That's what I'm trying to say. You gotta consider yeah. your bathroom yeah, door, your yeah. bed <laughs> door, your bedroom yeah. door. Just kill it, <laughs> yeah. I still think it's wheels, bro. Over the whole world. You know how many like 18 wheeler wheels, trucks yeah. there are? No, it has to be wheels, sure. Yeah, but you oh, know how many skyscrapers there are as well? With the, like Ooh. with doors like- Just in Dubai alone. Yeah, yeah, just in Dubai. None of those skyscrapers have wheels. Your bags up on a trolley with wheels. Oh, uh, but that's what four wheels. Yeah, times how many of those? Five. Or how many? Yeah, you know that four or five. How did everyone pull up to the hotel? Exactly. What luggage? Oh, this is <laughs> oh, 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 airplanes. Airplanes got wheels. Yeah, airplanes, yeah, but but airplanes doors got doors as well. Airplanes yeah, got more doors. Yeah, yeah. I swear, yeah. airplanes. No, 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 got, no, no, airplanes no, 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 no. Airplanes, at the front. Yeah. airplanes don't have more doors <laughs> because there's it's there's four four. For I think I think and if you're looking at if you're looking at like an A380, then that's probably it's an A380. <laughs> no, nah, but you've got the cockpit door, the the bathroom door as well. Yeah, true. Oh, there's doors. Oh, well, you got, and then you got, doors. you got, you got that, and then you've also got the exits, the like the yeah, emergency yeah. exit doors. Is it a door if it slides? Yes, yes, yes. One hundred percent a door. door. Then that's then then, then, then you can't you can't, you can't debate it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wheels, wheels is still a lot. I think it's wheels. wheels is way more. Oh, way way more days, for right. sure. Ah, in the in the now wheels. Now wheels is more. Ah. I still, I'm, Bro, I'm take this stick room to my How many chairs do we have? Cause this is an office. That's the thing though. Yeah, how chairs. many offices are there though? Like around the world? And how many houses are there in the oh, world? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you got a point. Fuck, nah. Just go to the city alone. There's so many offices, yeah, so many chairs, yeah, so many tables. You got to alone, you know what I mean? Houses Gotta start introducing floating cars to cut down the amount yeah. of wheels. <laughs> to cut down the wheels and win the argument. <laughs> Bro, he's proper deep in it, right? <laughs> he's, no, like, he's, 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 actually, he's scratching he's his beard like- Yeah, no, 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 is that your proper thing? <laughs> well, all right, I just, is this a TikTok debate as well, by yeah. the way? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, what's going through people's minds? And it was a group of, it was just a group of shit. It was just a group of friends that kind of like- Put it together. Put it together. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> like no, they, it they put it on a Google, like a, a, did you see it on there? It was yeah. like a Google page yeah. or a Google forum what or something. What the heck, bro? Yeah. Like, is there more shirts than pants in the world? That's like is, that was definitely shirt. No, nah, but yeah. then that's like me saying, is there more shoes or socks in this? Ooh, world? Nah, let's you never down, know. Let's slow down. Oh, wait, hold on. Shoes, because you don't need socks for every pair of footwear. Yeah, mm. so you got a point. Damn, yeah. smart ass, bro. <laughs> 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 nah, no, no, no. You're, the, are you the, you're the oldest out of all of us. Uh, Who's the oldest? Uh, nah, this is grandpa uh, right here. Grandpa, bro. <laughs> yeah, twenty five. About a couple of months, and then oh, you're following. Crazy two years, bro. Young Don right here, bro. You get me, you get me. No, what, what were we about to <laughs> Oh no, it was aligned with that, but that's all right. Oh, oh so I was gonna say in line with like dumb questions. <laughs> um, why is it so offensive when we call our parents by their first name? It's a cultural thing. It's a cultural thing. Yeah. Yeah. Is it actually? Yeah. Uh, no, okay, so yes, why is it so offensive? In our cultures? Ooh, that we call I just call my dad Baba. I one time I called him Homie or OG. Like I, sometimes I say it. I, his name's OG. Like yeah. I call him OG for everything. But like if I call him like by his name, bro, it's <laughs> it's on site. It's on site. Yo. <laughs> What'd you call me? <laughs> Your name, dog. To be honest, not even parents. Like even my not it. I was gonna say my aunties. Not even my yeah, aunties. You can't like even my call mom's your... friend. Mm. I grew up calling her auntie. Yeah. yeah. And then I figure out like yeah, but she's not related. Let's. It's a respect Settle thing. It's a on respect the name thing. one first. It's a respect thing. Yeah. How, why is it so, uh, obviously, because I'm not trying to fight the culture because that's what it is, it is what it is. Yeah. Like, mm. That's cool. Someone will, if someone else asks me why it's so disrespectful, I'll say, just leave it, bro. It just is. Yeah. <laughs> but now that we're in the midst of you like, know, let's, let's cultured it. individuals, <laughs> let's talk about it. Yeah, why is it so offensive? To call your parents by their name. Like, how is it so disrespectful? I feel like for white people it's so easy as well. Like, uh, mm. 
Nicole. Yo, you know. No, see, see it's, the reason I say it's cultural is because, like, I know we grew up next door to like some Lebanese kids, and they, I, they had like very uh, was not progressive, but like airy fairy parents. <laughs> progressive, you know? progressive. So like, their parents were cool with like, <laughs> like, uh, like who, I don't, oh shit, maybe I shouldn't say it. <laughs> but um, but like, they would call their mom off the name. And oh, so, rude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and shit. I, and for us, it was like, what the? And my parents would be like, that's so Yeah, this is the way I've reacted. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I can't believe that <laughs> yeah, they yeah, do yeah, that, yeah. My you know? My parents would be like, make sure you guys don't do that. Like, yeah. That but and it was shocking to me, but it's like, I was like, whoa, like, there's an Arabic person that does that out there? Like, mm. what the heck? But it seems to be not common, but in the, maybe in their like, village or whatever. But, uh, yeah, yeah, but like, I also feel like Lebanese people like adopt like a lot of Western yeah, cultures as well. Yeah. Damn. But like, now they've kind of got their whole. Moe era going on. Yeah. <laughs> Moe <Moe-dor. laughs> There's two types of living. AMG 63. Yeah. I think bit. it makes sense when you're, if you look at it in the sense of like, we need to differentiate. That's the, that's the right word. Yeah. Differentiate, okay. right? Okay. At school, you call your teachers Miss, Mr, whatever. Mm. And we know that they're teachers. So mm. they have that title because they're teachers. Even that. Amongst our friends. No, that, that keep keep cutting her off. Like, yeah, <laughs> <actually> <laughs> like, sometimes you've got to go beef with. Yeah, sometimes no, no, they're just yeah. Derek. They're just Derek, right? You're yes, Derek, Rachel. To me. But, dude, but have, no. you noticed, have you noticed no, another you thing? Have, like, you have to, yeah, no, you have to teachers say Teachers have Mr. some black ass names as well. <laughs> yeah, they do, they do. I don't know Ursula. I, I don't know yeah, why I it's, it's, only, it's only the cool ones. Oh, bro. No, it's only fair. The cool ones that you can call them by No, the cool ones are the ones that say, they have the normal just, just names call me Derek. Derek. Yeah. Or, or whatever names. it is. Yeah. I used to call, like, I think it was like more, more so my sport teachers were actually the yeah, teachers. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. That's literally who came to mind immediately. Sport yeah. teachers aren't like, yeah, you can call yeah. them. Or they were the ones where it's like, if their last name was like Garfield, they were like, call me Mr. G. Yeah, yeah, I used to, oh yeah, I had a teacher, his, but his name was like some South African name. It was just long. It's too much. This was doing too much. Mr. G. This is back home, but. So the teachers one, huh? Yeah, yeah no, so I was saying, like, we have to differentiate all of these types of people where it's like with your parents, mm. you're not going to call them by their name because they're not just like your regular everyday friends that you talk to. I'm so close because to you. Because now, Why now, are you not yeah, my no, Did your parents ever say that to you? I'm not your friend. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm your like parent. Your I'm not your friend. Yeah, see, now I'm if not you start your calling- mate, if That one especially. Yeah, if you start calling them by their name, it's like, okay, I'm just calling you by your name just because. Like, where's where's the respect or where's the acknowledgement that this is my parent? Because wait, what do you guys call? You said you call your dad OG. What do you call I your dad? I could just call mom, mom, or like mama or something. Mom, yeah. See, and yeah. that title's reserved for your mom. Who else are you going to go call your mom? Who else, who else are you going to be calling mom? <laughs> she got a phone. <laughs> <laughs> so why not keep that for them? Why would you start calling them by their name? Like it, for me, it's just weird. It just sounds very, very weird. I'll, like, I'll, what do you call your parents? Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Bro. call your parents? No, nah, that that that's that she's fucked. Nah, I know you don't call them mom or dad. No, yeah. Baba. Nah. Oh, you do call dad Wait, Baba. Nah, you ever heard this guy? Yeah. Bro, it's such a Nigerian thing. It's so gross. Oh, say it. Nah, I'm not gonna say it. Mommy and daddy. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> mommy! Yeah, yeah mommy! Actually, it's, 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 why do you guys all mommy. say that? That's the thing. Mommy, yeah, daddy. Daddy. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you mommy said mommy. you can't do that. Yeah. No, but daddy mommy. said I can, bro. <laughs> <laughs> At your big age, you say now, mommy and daddy. Now I just avoid it all together. It's like yo, <laughs> yo, because I just don't want to be saying that. I'm trying to take bro. it out. It's like, hey, yo, I yo, go that's what you actually call him. Yep. Yeah, crazy. My sister oh, moves shit. mad in the family group chat though. She'll like literally be like. Oh, so like she like she, yesterday she texted me and she's like Dina. Like my mom sends Dina. She's like Dina, blah 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 blah. Well, well, coming over this time. Oh, and I was like, what? She well, doing? well, who's Dina? Whoa. Who's Dina? Can you say Thank once you. you become a parent? No, no, no. It wasn't even like I said. She thinks she's being funny. Is your sister that. older than you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, true. She sure. down. Oh, yeah. But it's like. I was like, Damn. she thinks she's at your mom's level. Yeah. Now. Do you know? I know you. Yeah. Do you know? Bro, I saw the text come through. I was in a meeting. I was you like, said, whoa. Hmm. Did your mom say anything? I nah, didn't nah. care anymore about that stuff. Mm. I yeah, I feel like so the older weird, you bro. get as well, like your parents just start like, mm. bands. they don't really mind it. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. I think for like us immigrant kids as well, like I think, yeah, we used to call them like mom, mom, dad, mama, papa, whatever. But mm. like now it's like, if we do say something, like if it comes out of our, like, out of our mouths, like mm. they don't really mind. It's right of passage a bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? As yeah. you transition into yeah. your adulthood slightly. Hey buddy. No, you're doing That's too much. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> oh, I say, I say hey, hey mate to my dad <laughs> all the yeah. time. Oh, but just test the waters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, where we at right yeah, now? Yeah, but like, but like mom's kind of picked up on it. So now whenever I come over, it's like, hey mate. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's so funny, man. Yeah. Growing up is weird. Yeah. I went to like one of my friend's house when I was like super young. 
it was white kid. Yeah, bro. I was so shocked. Bro, <laughs> I'm always oh shocked. <laughs> Everything surprises me. Even the food, I'm like, yo. Yeah, the food, the, hey, way they, yo. the way they wash the dishes, I don't know. I'm a bit worried. That's yeah. a wash. Nah, nah, right. one time, even yeah. get the wash. One time, um, I went to my mate's house, yeah, and his dad was making bread on the bench top, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's well, not yo. the that's fun you. It's the dad chefing it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the oh, dad. Wow. Like, You're why are you using gay? a tape? <laughs> Damn. That's why are you using funny. a why are you using a bench top to oh, like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Hey, he took it the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, no, because he said the dad's cooking. Yeah, but you're not even like, saying the fact that he's not using a- He's not using uh, a plate, uh, a chopping yeah, board, yeah. nothing. Bro, Legit. the bench top here, he's putting, he's like, he cuts up the bread. First uh, of all, the guy has- I actually cheese. did learn yeah, that from cooking that. class, which was led by a white teacher. The fact that like, yeah. You can put boom, bread on a bench yeah, top. Yeah, we've cleaned, oh, we've cleaned the, the bench top. Oh, yeah. Boom, yeah. chuck some flour on there. You're good to go, man. Because then you try to cut something on there and the knife hits it and all you hear is your mom go, ha! Yeah, You can't do that now. We're renting. Oh my god! It's a different upbringing, man. And then we were playing games in his room. Oh, jokes! Okay, sorry. Oh, you shit! So playing games in his room, and then he was like, "Emma, let us know when the food is done." Mad. Oi! You got a sister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has a sister, Emma. And then, like ten minutes later, the mom comes and said, "Food is ready." I'm like. That's Emma? Nah. Oh, I thought you said A hey, Ma. No, no Emma, man. Emma. Emma. Yeah. Like the mom's name's Emma. That's well, first of all, like, okay, like sometimes I do, I was like, hey, mom, when's food gonna be ready? But like, I wouldn't be like, yeah, let me know when the food's done. <laughs> even hey, even Emma, hey, hey, Ruby. No, <laughs> when's the food finished? That's what I was to say, hey, mom, let me know when the food is done. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. we say with the first name. The name, Emma. bro. It's so crazy. Imagine a 10 year old saying that, bro. No, th that Bro. is one thing that really spun me when I saw them wash uh, dishes. They clog the sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just then just dip it. it. Yeah, yeah. And Let's then I thought <laughs> something in my brain went like, oh, that's oh, the right way. Very yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's the worst way. I went home and did the same <laughs> thing. Yeah. 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 Don't do this, daddy. What is this? What is that expensive? I was like, wait, no, I thought we were poor. You know what I love about him? One of them will dip it in, the other one will try it. Do your chores. We did something. Do your chores. We did something. No, like, like when it comes to unloading the dishwasher, surely like me and my sister, like actually, like we help each other out. When it comes to like the dishes, like why would you have some like? Okay, if you're putting it in the dishwasher, it makes sense. If you're just washing it and drying it, just do it yourself. Put it together, bro. I'm sitting over there. I'm just doing here. I'm like, bro. I mind you, like in all honesty, like I hardly do the dishes. Like I want to do, like just getting a good clean. Yeah, I like make sure, like okay, I rinse it off. I put it in the dishwasher. You know. Oh. No, even at the dishwasher. No, you, you were progressive. We yeah, were the yeah. dishwasher, bro. You yeah. get me, bro? We were, were the dishwasher. Plane, you were bro. Oh, when I was younger, sure. Like I obviously we we didn't. The dishwasher was too much, but <laughs> yeah. you know. This become a thing because I realized every single ethnic family moved onto dishwashers recently. When everyone got lazy, because but it's like, yeah. it's like exactly everyone because suddenly was like, yeah, we use it. Not even that. A lot of. I mean, we've had our own house for a, a bit, but even then they weren't providing dishwashers immediately. But a lot of houses, let's say in the standard past six appliance. years, it's standard now, you know, including yeah. dishwashers. Like so for the longest These families time. were just getting with it. If it didn't come with a dishwasher, no, no best believe- Bro, that's storage space. <laughs> <laughs> storage space. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can feel like, you can feel like a couple of boxes, yeah, the bin or a couple boxes or something. Yeah. You got mangoes or some shit. You got to put yeah. it up there. <laughs> 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 that's, that's all the ones you buy fruits in the <laughs> Yeah, bro, my dad came back from Costco with like apples the size of my head. I'm like, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Right. I got into it with my parents recently. They, they went and bought avocados, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, avocados. now we know what avocados are. They went and bought like two massive trays. And I was like, first of all, it's just meat and you two here, right? <laughs> and these are all gonna go off soon. Bro. Like they're ripe right now. I'm coming to your house after this, like, bro. Yeah, but like it's cheaper. Bro, to man's having guacamole yeah, like, for ah. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, I got avocados every day. I'm gonna get a few of them avocados, cuz. Oh, oh no, <laughs> Drop them off. It's mad, bro. Nah, yeah. this yeah. stuff was funny, bro. Yeah, it is, it is. What else did I say? All right, are we roof? just gonna continue what? dumb what? questions? Really dumb. Ah, I got something I wanna ask you, but we'll ask up. another dumb question here now. <laughs> why, why do none of us like chill on our roofs? Like it's it's very accessible. We can get up there, right? All you like need is one ladder. Like I feel like 
That's a white person thing to do. <laughs> with. <laughs> Why are we limiting ourselves, bro? Very I mean, dangerous. Okay, dangerous. Okay, I mean, yeah. back in yeah, like, yeah, 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 back in um, like. Just no, anywhere. we have you have terraces in we Iraq, don't you? Roofs. Yeah, we have yeah, flat yeah. roofs as well. So yeah, there's a lot of it's like you have flat roofs in a lot of these they countries. But even if you stuff. don't yeah, have a flat yeah, roof, yeah, yeah. you're finding a way up there. And like, just kids, you're just chilling. You're up there, anyways. Not here, but like back home, kind of. Yeah, like. people yeah. are just on roofs. Like, why don't we do it's that? Like here? Fall through at this point. <laughs> I think it's a, a council thing, eh? Is it a council? Yeah. I think it's a council. Like, they don't let oh, you have a yeah, have flat have roof. Worked. I would Even love to have a flat, flat roof. Because yeah. I actually saw a story recently. Like, I saw two um two guys like, like they were on American the roof. Movies where like they, they boyfriend girlfriend. Oh, you know them vibes. Oh, bro, I've that always wanted that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why are you laughing, bro? It is kind of cute. It's so cute. I'm I'm laughing because it's cute. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but like. You think about it this way. All right, let's say you set it you up the wrong- You still turn around when you see kissing scenes next to No, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, you know, I realized though, like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I used to do that a yeah. lot. Yeah. And like, obviously the older you get, like, you're like, oh. That's the new one. Yeah. I mean, at times I'm just like, right. I like do that or something. You know what's crazy? Literally the other night, my, my parents started watching, what's the dumb, the Netflix show with the massive title? The lady oh, across, yeah, yeah. The across the room. Oh, yeah. oh, oh a lot of people yeah. are watching that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I started yeah. watching it too. It was even. a sex scene on and my parents were watching and I'm sitting there as well. My mom goes, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> like when we were young and we would watch a show and like something like a kissing scene even would happen. We'd all like turn around. Mm. Yeah. And then she looks at me and I'm like, yeah, like what do you expect me to do? Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she wanted like, you to turn around. Yeah, like, actually. And I was like, <laughs> I was just looked at I was like, you know, there's an age where we have to acknowledge like, this is <laughs> where happened. I came from. <laughs> I know what this is now. <laughs> no, right now. This is yours? I'm right now. Oh, yeah, I feel hilarious. Oh, but I just think it'll be a vibe dangerous. to be up there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It ain't too bad. <laughs> it would be. I'm not going to be doing it in winter or winter. You know what's bad here is because it's not the terrace style, is. um. Bro, you what, get the up tiles? there and now you slide a tile out of place yeah, and exactly. like yeah, you right, gotta get nah. someone these, to come these things it. are durable, bro. Nah, it's durable. They're not, bro. You they're can not. you can get up there. Well, I don't like just thinking about like even like going back to like India or Iraq mm-hmm. or anything. Like you think about it. One time I went, yeah, and um, I was like playing with my cousin. Mm-hmm. Bro, I broke my foot because I hit like like just a. Top part of the terrace. It's that yeah. strong. It's like, you know, they've just got what's it made out of? What's it made of? You know, pipes. a lot of people call Dubai civil. I'm not going to say like it's not civilized or anything, but like <clears throat> no, when we're there, there's still bricks and yeah, shit yeah, on just the street. Yeah, on the yeah, street. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah. the big ones. Yeah, 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 yeah huge yeah, yeah. ones. Like we walked out of the um, our hotel and I was like, why is there so many mm. bricks? It's highlight yeah. reels, bro. Dubai, Dubai is highlight reels. Yo, you you see a Rolls Royce and some. Knocked down area. I mean, yeah. What's going interesting on? Here? Place, bro. Very interesting place. Are really place. high in Africa off the road? If, if we even get that, bro, Nigeria, you know, bro. Uh, Some places is crazy. Yeah, bro, you go to Abuja, which is um capital, like it's nice there. You get me? Very tasty. There's a lot happening there. Mm. No, no, like but are the sidewalks high off? A the little road? bit, yeah. They you are. get you get them they black are, and white yeah. striped uh yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know yeah, the, yeah. the side yeah. things is black and white paint. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why everyone's I crazy. You're you're I encouraging. Like every it, country's just adapted from every other country. Like for sure, like, bro. There's a lot yeah, of blending. Yeah. You can't even classify someone as like one place anymore because like everyone's just got the same shit. Like <laughs> it's so it's a lot of it's very similar. We are getting a bit a more. Lot of it's very I mean, we're very, very far from saying like everyone's One. very similar. Like yeah, we still yeah, not, have, not very similar. We still have yeah, yeah. tucked like good. Like we're so many places yeah. untouched. Even if they are touched, like even India. Like yeah. sure, there's a lot that's very, very similar. Yeah. But you go like let's say deeper south, like south of India, it's a little bit more. Man. Different. Bro. So you different. Me, it's a know? huge country. Yeah. yeah. Bro, Population massive. like one point one billion people. That's bro. Stupid. You're moving mad, bro. Yeah, I just can't put <laughs> you guys love it. Together for but I mean, like, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> bro, you guys should be killing this. Bro, it's shocking. Honestly, <laughs> sports basketball. So, no, you but guys got yeah. some tall people. If you look at even if you look at like Iran or something, like they're hardly they're like they're in the football scene. Yeah, they kill that's it. really the it. Yeah. yeah, they kill it. Oh, it's mad. Anyways, <laughs> uh, let me ask you a question related to you a little bit more now. Yeah, um, 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 I was gonna say in any way did um, culture or anything like that, or even just your background influence anything you've done in any way at all? Kind of. Um, not really, because obviously, like growing up, it's like doctor, lawyer, engineer. <laughs> You know? That's so true. Like, there's like no time to be thinking about yeah. that great stuff yeah, or, or yeah, even yeah, how yeah. could this influence. Yeah. But I think like dad was like kind of the outlet. Like he was kind of like just do it. Like you never know. At the same time, it was like focus on your studies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then mom was just like study, 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 and she still does. Like yeah. we were watching the podcast that I was on the other day. Yeah. She was like, "Yeah, but you got to focus on your degree, don't you?" I was like, <laughs> 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 "Sorry." 
That's wild, that's man. Wild. It's interesting game to balance that. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah the, you, You're the young, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Started this very, very young. It's, 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 it's nice yeah. to see. It's very refreshing to see where, where it's going, how you're doing and all that. The sky's the limit, obviously, at this point now. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's it's very early stages and very, very young for you. So, yeah. it's, it's, so like, yeah. it feels good, obviously, to be like, to start at 15, be 18, and like, I can just do what I want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can just do whatever I want. I can buy whatever I want. Crazy. So, Damn. Like, it just feels good because you still got, I mean, obviously, like, everyone has their own paths, but, like, you tend to, like, look at it that way. Like, I am so, doing I am doing better than a lot of other people. Yeah. So, and, like, being on podcasts at 18 and doing, like, these runways, yeah. I'm like, shit, my life really took a, like, I, and it was after the expo for sure. Like, mm-hmm. everything kind of, like, took a full U-turn. Like, every, like, I got busy out of nowhere. I had all this shit lined up and. Good exposure, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very good exposure. I mean, cool. shout out to Mel, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. honestly, yeah, like, sure. she gave us a platform yeah. that, mm-hmm. you know, not many other creators could really get. Yeah, I, yeah it's, it is. Like, shout out to her, shout out to the expo. But yeah. also, it's like, there are people that came through and just capitalized off it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I would say, like, and us, you, Senpai, yes, we, we board, board. Our yeah. bro, they're, like, actually yeah. going off now. Like, mm-hmm. I've been like seeing like all these random influencers that mm. are grabbing on it. Like they killed it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple yeah, others yeah. as well. It's like it's cool. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I f- and um, it was most and a lot of. I mean, shout out to the other brands as well. But like, mm. there wasn't much traction, and like we, you kind of like tell at the same time. But um, nah, like everyone did well. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, sure. I mean, to be, f- I'll tell you guys after the podcast, like how much like. Oh yeah, I'm trying Numbers, to hear that. but like it was it was crazy. Like I didn't expect it. I mm. low key walked into it thinking like, okay, probably I so thought like two, three sales. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I literally I told I told my sister, I told my mate and my sister, I was like, we're maximum gonna make like five sales on yeah. Saturday and probably like ten on Sunday because they're saying it's more busy. Girl. I stood <laughs> corrected. <laughs> that is what you I stood corrected. That's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I underestimate the pieces as well, and that, that's just like oh, yeah, me coming from yeah. Like nice. I, I underestimate every, like everything I make. It comes out that hat. You were like, oh, that's hard. In my head, I'm like, shit, I could have done better. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So like, there's always like that. It's not even like that gap. It's like these pieces, all these drops, everything I've done. Like I'm always like. I can do better. Like I can. Well, add, I can. A, it's only right. Yeah, yeah. You and become like, stagnant. Yeah, if you yeah but I underestimate you know? them because I dropped them, and I'm like, okay, this drop's not gonna go well. Bang! I'm like, where'd that? That's what I wonder off. if we should be underestimating ourselves. Like, believe in yourself, obviously, mm. but don't maybe don't over. I feel like it's good to underestimate maybe. yourself, mm. though. I feel like it's actually a good thing because, like, you get that. It, in, when you get whatever, mm. if you underestimate it. I don't know how to word this. If you underestimate something and it goes well, that sense of happiness is like times a hundred compared to like if you expect. Oh, I expect if if, if mm-hmm. yeah, if I'm sitting there like oh, I made a hundred pieces and I know a hundred pieces are gonna sell out, I'll just be like oh yeah, I knew it. Mm. But like if you underestimate it and you kind of like train your mind. I mean, not train your mind, but like if you just have that feeling like you never know how it'll go, then it's a, it's a tricky yeah. one to balance. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. Because yeah. there's also expectation as well. Mm. That a lot and has to play a role in that, a yeah. Lot. And there's like a lot of competition at the end of the day. Like you really have to stand out. Yeah, really like so. I get nicked a lot now. Like now I really like a lot of people nick me. Like nick um, my designs or like they get in like inspo from it, but they're yeah. basically copying my logos. <laughs> so there was like this one brand, and I was like, "Yo, like I DM them. I was like, can you not <laughs> just like copy <laughs> my? Can shit? you imagine someone DM? <laughs> hey, bro, do you like my designs? <laughs> Yeah, no. at least that two weeks ago. He, 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 like the guy deals me. He's like, um, oh, like I'm, st-. and the way he approached me, I was like, yo, like, like that's not really how you approach approach a business. Like, hi, um, I'm this brand, this that. Um, where do you get your menu like manufacturing? I was like, that's not a way to approach. Yeah. I literally said, I was like, first of all, that's not a way to approach someone, yeah. especially a brand that you're if you're like looking up to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, he was like, oh yeah, nah, this that. And I mean, I think the kid's like in year 11 as well. So I was like, okay, respect to you for starting young. But at the same time, don't approach someone this way. Otherwise, not many people are going to even text you back, you know. Um, And that's like something I picked up when I was 15. I was like, I can't just DM someone and be like, hi, I run a brand. Give me your secrets. Yeah, give me your shit. I love to share. Trust me, I love to share. Like I tell people, like, I like, I love to help people out as well. But I'll give them different outlets because I'm not going to, 
the suppliers that I told yeah. you, I'm not gonna go and tell everyone like I mm. work here, I do this, I do that, I do this, because then where's it like what? It goes away. 100%. Yeah. Anyone can as trick. soon as yeah. soon as someone knows where I'm getting my stuff made or who mm. I'm getting my stuff made from, bro, I'm screwed. Yeah. Or okay. you rise amongst the you can, so-called okay. you know it's so-called crowded market. It's either you rise amongst it or they just know where you're getting your stuff made and. Oh, I, Immortal Fate did this. Oh, I can just DM this guy and like he'll say yes because I know that Immortal Fate's already done. That. But it's your designs that's you sometimes. Know? It's also the quality. because if we, if we look at it online right now, we don't really get to see the material mm. of it mm. and so on. We just see the designs. Mm. Right. But then I, now when we touch yeah. and feel it, we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, it's different. Yeah, I usually like just let the quality and the print speak for itself. You know, yeah. like, and that's kind of how I went with it. But how much did you charge for your first tops? Early days, yeah. Was it like the regular? Like 40 this might tell no. us exactly so why no one was messing with. I really, I really like. I priced it because I obviously tried to make a profit. Yeah, I still wanted because I was like, if I want to keep going, I got to make a profit. Mm. Interesting. Turns out you don't really have to make a profit. Like, I realized after it, like, you don't really have to like. Um. I didn't profit shit. In fact, I just kept bringing the prices down for people who just buy it. So I priced them at. 25. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Very good. Knowing that, like, okay, like, there's still a bit of profit, yeah. but, like, I wasn't meeting, there was no mm. good, like, the markup was shocking. And then it still wasn't doing great. So I just bought it down to 15. So I just, I made a dollar profit. <laughs> yeah, that's the crazy thing. There was such a period of time where T's were at $25. Yeah, legit. You know what I was like, now I'm purchasing. Now I'm not surprised. Eighty like dollar tees. Yeah, like my my tees themselves sixty five. This is where I'm at. Oh. Sixty five is the one that I always see. Yeah, I'm at that. Si- that that's what it is that's now for tees. But yeah. I'm like, because mm. the quality is nice. Fair man. Everyone, everyone's stepping it up. Because so. what happened? Yeah, like there were, around like 20, 2019 um, China started getting in. This is all, all spy from China. They all China and Pack. They all started getting in like high GSM things. And you could tell in the market, everyone's being influenced by like Travis Scott and yeah. a lot of artists and all these artists were That's wearing like baggy yeah. things. Yeah. And the thing is when you when you have a high GSM and you have like- a what, oversized, what does GSM actually stand for? Oh, uh, grams per square meter. Okay. So like oh, that, yeah, 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 the, the t-shirt yeah, she's wearing right. is like 200, 280 GSM. So it's a heavyweight. Yeah. For Which a t-shirt. Feels nice. Yeah, yeah it feels, it feels and, that's, and like that's the thing. Like I always aim to give people higher quality I'm never gonna drop the quality. Like I could say this right now, and people, I could look back at this probably 20 years from now and still, still be like, I didn't tough. drop the quality because like I'm not gonna. There's no way like I'm gonna just because I become uh, I get money. It means I, I'm never gonna do that. And to be fair, I still don't care about like profits Profit, or yeah. the money. Like everything goes. It's back tasty. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's I'm, good. I'm, I'm, look, it's good. It's good. It is. It is. It is. It's very nice. It's very nice. And like obviously, like. You can think about like, oh, I'm gonna spend on myself, but at the same time, like, it really needs to go back into the. <laughs> it's yeah, it does. Yeah, but I'm at that point now where I can still it, keep yeah. some to my yeah, like. Yeah. I'm, I'll say the stuff after the the podcast. I don't like sound like a yeah. sound cocky, but like, yeah, like that's just kind of just how it is. Like, mm-hmm. you know, everyone really realized the whole um, GSM thing late, like early 2020, late 2020, mm-hmm. and then. Mm-hmm. That's why every brand you see now reported blanks because what reported did was they just kind of like gave an outlet for yeah. 280 GSM to 400 yeah. GSM uh, pieces. Yeah. That timing is definitely correct. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely around how. Yeah, because yeah, before you're still, well, I was comfortable buying Gildan blanks. Mm. I was fine with it. Mm. And like now it's like, I don't want to. <laughs> it's crazy like change. when even. Like, Gildan, holler at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I, just, I can still, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, they're cool. Like I, I, I still obviously like it's a whole. It's, I don't want to shit on a brand. It's yeah. big ass. Yeah. Yeah. not bad. Yeah, like, but like, in my eyes, now that I actually cut and I get all my pieces cut and sewn, I know my like all the weights and everything. I look, I look at even like other wholesalers, and I'm like, there's no point in me even going there yeah. anymore because like everything I do is so much more different. You know, so, yeah. Hey man, you need to eat because your stomach. Yeah, I'm hungry. That growling. I'm hungry. <laughs> and you got to get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah bro. Um, Sadly, this episode drops after you've done that. So, you All know, right, so we'll, yeah. maybe depends on when we when the editing for this ends up happening. We might even be able to chuck in some clips or whatever from that into yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, shout out to you what you're doing, man. What yeah, so is, what can people look out for? Like, what's what's on your mind right now? What's yeah? I mean, you're doing a walk. 
That's what's coming up right A-walk. now. A-walk. No, A-walk. 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 <laughs> this is um, the Nigerian coming through, bro. A-walk. 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 A-walk